Alrighty, folks, welcome back. And now, this afternoon, we have snowboard slope style finals in the Europa Cup in Korvac Silva Plana. I am JJ, very honored to have next to me. Who do we have? Truth. How you guys doing? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Love to have you in the booth. Thanks for having me, JJ. Stoked to be back. Oh, yeah, man. Maybe you remember from the World Cup, Truth popped in for the finals. We already had a blast in finals. And now uh, I am honored to have Mr. Truth Smith himself Good. all the way from Canada out here in Switzerland. <laughs> yeah. it up, man. Big trek. But, yeah, we're here. Stoked to be here. Hell Stoked yeah. to be with you, dude. Going to oh, cook man. up this, uh, this live stream. and Let's go. Yeah. And I think... Uh, we can we can both say that the riders field is packed dude this is a heavy riders field it is very heavy here we have a little look at the park right now um as for the conditions we have as for the weather at least we have prime weather it is sunny and it is spring conditions to the max a lot of slush in the park so speed is definitely going to be key for all of the riders uh, today and I think we talked about it before the heartbreaker section heartbreaker section that's going to be the where the money maker is and the money loser is. oh yeah man. it's going to be tight like you mentioned the slush is going to cause for some weird patches of snow yeah. some sticky snow definitely and uh, yeah it's going to be a tight tight speed tight speed course for sure here. but in any case if the riders manage to get that speed dialed in I think we're going to have a heavy, heavy final coming up shortly. Reshape is happening right now. Big shout out to the Korvac Park crew. They've built an amazing course. And we are actually glad enough to have the World Cup course still out here for the Euro Cup final of the slope style event going down in a little bit. Beautiful weather. It is sunny. It is actually t-shirt weather, I would say. Oh, yeah. Definitely nice. We had some... Snowfall coming in on Wednesday, I believe. Wednesday and Tuesday, if I'm uh, completely correct. Um, a lot of fresh snow came in, but either way, the park is looking super dope. Very nice. Other than that slush situation, I think we're pretty much set to get something happening. And you can see that carve right there. Watch out for the first rider dropping in. He's going to go crazy. It's exciting. It's really exciting. You know, this this is a big course, and there's a lot of options for creativity. Oh, yeah. And as we've seen in the World Cup, people people got creative. And I think in the Europa, people are even getting a little more creative. I think so, too, man. I think so, too. I'm also hyped to see these many uh, international riders, also from Canada, like the Junior Canada team out here living yeah. it up, man. It it is just like yesterday we had qualies. I was uh, speaking the whole qualification event. It was like two hundred and sixty something runs. Wow, <laughs> definitely a tough day for Big my showing. boys, but still, dude, <laughs> it was so amazing to see. And uh, maybe let's take a quick peek at the start list for the ladies. So we're going to start it off with the ladies. One run for the ladies, one run for the boys, and then second run for the ladies, second run for the boys. Here you have the start list of the girls. International start field. We have Italy, Japan, China, Estonia, Netherlands, uh, sorry, Estonia, Spain, Netherlands, Switzerland, also represented in the finals, Belgium, so I think we're on for a pretty nice little party out here. Yeah, this is going to be a stacked finals. Many of these ladies we've seen in the World Cup actually true, putting true. down incredible runs. Mar Mari Fukata is that top qualifier, and we both know what she can do. Dude, I mean, she's an X Game athlete as well. Oh, Did I, she medal in the I, X Games? I probably. So, right? uh, yeah, probably. Pretty sure. She's incredible. You got Eva Poppy. Uh, who else we got in here? Miyabi, Miyabi on it, dude. You cannot Melissa, let out Miyabi. I can't even. I, I miss that. And then you got some uh, up-and-comers. Yeah, man. Too. Some some younger ones. Nora Cornell, definitely one of the up-and-comers from Spain. That's Emma right. Genero, the final girl that made the cut to finals all the way Bubble from spot. Italy. Bubble girl. And also the sister from Lorenzo Genero, who just got back from a heavy ACL rehab. And he competed in the pipe event in the Euro cup in uh when was it i think the beginning of the week maybe monday 
or even way. I think Monday. Yeah, I think we had the Euro Cup half pipe on Monday, and Lorenzo put on a show. Love to see him there back in the bib, and uh, yeah. I don't know. Did you have a, a big knee injury in the past? Uh, nope. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on wood, my dog. But, uh, for I sure. had a buddy, a couple friends who have been taken down. It's tough, man. It's but, very tough for sure. Yeah. But uh, definitely, injuries always an opportunity to grow and to get better and to just know yourself a little bit more. And here you have Paolo, the chief of competition out Over here today. Down. Definitely a big influence in the Korvac freestyle scene. He actually started up the freestyle team in Korvac called Fresk. No way. Which is like a freestyle uh, training group, which has uh, been evolving in the past couple of years pretty oh, nicely. Right. And the guy that was co-hosting with me in the freeski finals nalu used to be with him and he was his first coach he taught him his first cork seven so no way. homie has a big influence Runs in deep in the freestyle scene That's which is rad. so nice to see and he is still out here providing the vibes getting after it for sure well here we go the oh. snowball's back avalanche starts <laughs> to build <laughs> He's getting oh, it. Oh, look at that. So much fresh snow, actually. <laughs> we talked about it before. We had like half a meter of fresh snow, actually, which is insane. We are in the middle of <laughs> April. I mean, come on. We are blessed oh, right now. Oh, it's incredible. You know, winter's, winter doesn't stop out here. No, man. It's crazy. Euro's providing. Hell, yeah. We had a little bit of a tough winter out here, for sure. I think during the season hasn't been the best for most of the ski resorts. So yeah, same with definitely, Canada. Yeah, definitely nice to see some snow coming in. At the end of the season, for sure. And also nice for me, because I'm back on yeah, board. Yeah, you're back. And, uh, I'm living it up right now. It's so nice yeah, out here. Yeah, dude. It's great to have you back. For sure, man. I'm glad to be Morning. back, man. All right. I think we are almost ready to start it off. They are doing their best to prep the course as good as possible. As we talked about it before, the speed is going to be the key to have something dialed in today. Gotta make sure that speed management is on point to clear all of those jumps. We watched a little bit of practice, and I think we saw a couple of riders yep. having a little bit of trouble in the speed department. But nevertheless, I think they will manage to put something down. Yeah, I agree. I think it's going to be a, a fun final. But at the end of the day, you got to land a run, and you got to land a run in tough conditions. So oh, yeah. Hopefully these boards are waxed, and these dogs are ready to eat. Cause oh, yeah. I it's going to be a big day. <laughs> <Love> <laughs> yeah. That. Got to have them dogs ready to yeah. eat, man, <laughs> because the food is here. <laughs> Your food there is to get. there. Okay, You're I think we are here. almost ready. I am so excited to start it off. Here we go. Oh, and I think we have actually a DNS for Emma Genero, it seems like. So first girl coming up all the way from Japan. We have Suzuki Momo getting ready to drop a hammer in run number one. The guinea pig. Here we go. Starting it off from Japan. She had a pretty solid performance in qualification, if I remember correctly. So we're going to start it off with a banger right off the gate. Let's take a look at that first run. I think Martine is waiting for the clear right now. Got to give a shout out to Martine as well. Oh, Omi yeah. has been on it the whole season, making sure that we have the best events possible. Holding it down. Oh, yeah. We need him. Shout out we to all the, yeah, the event staff. For sure. We appreciate it. All right. She got the green light. We're on. Suzuki Momo is ready to drop in. Come out. Here we go. Starting it off. Going for the down tube. Starting things off with the backside blunt. 270. Nicely done on that down rail. Coming in. Ooh. The nice, I believe that was a switch back at 180, so switch blunt 270 on the first drill. Now coming in to jump number one. Beautiful front side 540 with the Indy grab. Nice speed management so far. On to jump number two, going cab 540, styling it out right there. Pure control. On to the money maker, the money booter. Oh. Backside seven, Hold squeezing on. it around. Woohoo! Woo Close call on that one, but pulling it together into the QP. Little frontside Indy. Holding the speed. Going for the flat rail 50 50. Frontside 180 wow. out. Ladies and gentlemen, we Great are run. on right now. Here Momo. we go. Suzuki Momo. What a way to it. start us off. Yeah, love to see that. Hello. First run in the books. Nice little 
Back to back 540 combination right there. Yeah, I love that. Fives. Love that stale fish grab agree, with the cap yeah. five as well. Here comes, just gets Whoa, it around. Squeezing it around right there, but putting it down perfectly. Nice to meet you, Momo. How oh, you doing? Yeah, how we doing? Gas me up, that was Suzuki. A great start. All the way through, just looks so solid on her board. Yeah, no, yeah. no trouble. Also with the speed, no. pretty solid, pretty consistent for her. I think if I saw that correctly, in between the jumps, like right before the jumps, there is a little bit of bumpiness I, happening. I saw that too. So. Right now we're going to start it off with a 60.6 60 for Suzuki Momo and obviously yeah. first girl in the book. Great score. Taking Room home. for improvement. As you can tell, the judges are holding off on that. For sure. The high scores because they know what's to come. And yeah, great run for Momo. Here we go. Next up from China, Truth. Take it away. We got... <laughs> try it. Just try it. We got it. Yan Shiru from yeah. China. Difficult Coming in on that name department, but let's go. Here we go into this first tube. Front board to switch. Front blunt, excuse me. Coming to the second rail. Sorry, second jump. Cab 360. Wow. Love to see it off that tricky shark fin. Coming in switch, I believe, to this first feature. Going to give us a nice switchback five melon. Ooh. Very well executed. Holding our speed into this second popper. Front side, 720. Melon. Whoa. Oh, just tapping the knuckle, causing her to spin out. Mm, that was so close. So close. Almost had it. A little bit more speed than she would have had it for sure. Again, the speed. It's going to be hard. Speed it's is key today for sure. And but it's not easy to get the right speed. We talked about it before. The snow. We got a lot of fresh snow. And the snow is slushy today. So best hope that all these riders have the wax tech on yeah. point today wax tech and tucking tucking like sure. they want it we got a message from the chat here oh let's take we're a look interacting at check. it's uh it's called the Euro open cup why are japanese canadians and non-other european competing here i can answer that one for you because i am one of those fellows <laughs> uh this is an end of season competition so a lot of riders who may not have the points or haven't got the results from so far this season are here trying to get those points so they can have a good position going into next year. But I see what you mean. Your Open Cup, we would love to yeah. see. So it's all about these FIS points. Get the points dialed in for yeah. next season so you have the spot you need to drop into the next season for a lot more to come. Here we go. Next girl getting ready for her first run. We have Nora Cornell from Spain. Let's see what you got. I love the little hug at the, at the top with the yeah, coach. Yeah, so much love out there yeah. today. Here she goes. Starting things off with a switch. Backside blunt 270 uh. out, putting it down, locking in. Going into the shark fin. Ooh. A switch straight Sick. air. Sick, I'm here double, for it. Double weddle grab, switch weddle grab right there. Coming into jump number one, going Oh, going cap oh, five, no. but getting caught on the takeoff. There's that slush. Yeah, there's the slush on the takeoff. It's, it's so hard. I mean, you, yeah. you have to be so light so on your patient, feet today yeah, and so patient light. as well. It's it's really tough today. And oh. it's not. Straighter. I mean, it's not going to get easier. No, I think no. that was a normal straighter. Was it normal straighter? Pretty sure, yeah. Oh, I was wrong. Cruising the quarter. Just testing out that rainbow. Throw away run for Nora Cornell. Definitely not what she was looking for. Yeah, going to look for a run two to step it up. Definitely, but, but that's switch straight. I think that was switch straight. Yeah, that was really cool. One, that was I'm here for nice. it. There you see her get just yeah, caught just, up. Just early on that takeoff and in slushy conditions, it's so important to stay patient all the way till the end of the takeoff to really take as much energy into that rotation as possible. I think yeah. she was looking for the cap five, getting caught on that first takeoff. As it seems, it's going to be a throwaway run for Nora Cornell. Next up. Let's go all the way from Manitoba. Braden Demchek. Oh, Braden let's Chet. go. Alex Sandel out here too. We'll, uh, we'll be interacting with the chat. Me, yeah, JJ, so I mean, let it rip in. in the chat, man. Let it rip. Next up Coach from... The Netherlands, we have Romy van Vreden. She's been on a bit of a come up this year, I yeah, believe. Yeah, man, for real, yeah. for real. She is Mega put Shredder on from Netherlands. Some nice comp results. Here we go. Take it away. First run. Front 180 oh. to switch. Coming off a tad bit early, but Keeps not it too rolling. bad. Going to come in for the cab three off the toes. Nice, nice landing. 
into the money booter line. Here we go with that switch backside. 540. Huge. Oh, no, no way. Unfortunately. Oh, she's holding on. Let's keep her going. This is practice run for Back her right seven. now. Back seven. She seems to have some speed that no one else has unlocked. And with that revert, she's still holding on with that front side 720. Wow, putting in, in that toe edge right there. This is incredible. Another little popper on the hip to the 50-50 front side one. You know what? I'm really impressed that she kept Actually, going. Actually, I am too, man. I this think, Romy, really cool. this goes to show if you are able to snowboard properly, you are still able to clear these jumps even though the slush is definitely very tough today. Just, so go just going too yeah, large. Going very deep right there. And then A the little seven. revert, but you know, I got taught by my coach when I was younger that if you have a little speed check or a little bump tap or fall but can still go, go for never it. Never give up. Cause Just you never go know. for it. You never know what's going to happen. We got tough conditions yeah. today and this could be our, our second place run. Yeah, man. Here yep. we go. 43.8 for Romy van Vreden in her first run of two. Yeah. Definitely going to clean that up in round number two. And next up, Uste Schwitz from Switzerland. We have Let's Arjan go. Buri ripping it up. She's also coming back from a foot injury, so definitely looking out to put something out here today. Starting it off probably on that down tube. Here we go, Arian Buri on course, starting things off. Frontside board slide oh, popping out of it, locked in, dialed in for that slope style. Crippler on oh. the side, putting it down. Oh my goodness. Very large. Arian Buri putting on a show so far. Go. Now going for that first jump. Going front side. Oh. Underflip. Super <laughs> big. No issues with the speed for Arian so far. Going for a cap 540 on jump number two. Perfect execution. Coming into the money booter. We're going to see. Going for the back seven. Yes, she does. Oh. oh no. Just yes. not quite able to get that energy of the takeoff i think she got caught up a little bit for sure i think she felt it on the slushy it's takeoff off. 50 50 front so 180 out oh almost had that run and i think she knows that it was just a tiny mistake not quite able to put we'll it do down it. yeah frustrating for Ariane because she was on a heater as yeah. you can see at the top with this perfect front board locked and loaded and i think that's the biggest we've seen anyone going the, yeah, the short sure. so far very nice and the underflip as well Putting it down perfectly. Cap five. Perfect. Picture perfect. Right and right there, there you oh. see it. The carve on the takeoff just at the end. Just getting a little bit caught on that edge. Like we said earlier, you're going to need patience and light toe edge. Oh, yeah. Edge light toe today. edge. Got to get that edge control under you. That's got to be a throwaway run for Arian Buri with a 28.4. Start things off in her first run. Definitely room for improvement for yeah. her. Two runs for a reason, as they like to exactly, say. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Next up, legend in the start field, a veteran, so to speak. We have Miyabi Onitsuka. Miyabi, Here been in go. the game for a while. She is a oh, known... Yeah snowboarder around the world and she is one of our biggest contenders here coming into this rail I believe definitely switch if I'm not mistaken yes pretty With sure that switch front what? Forward, same way possibly switch back one almost counts as a switch back one in my opinion I'm here for it to the switch back three wow technical up top coming Great into the jumps. top section we're gonna go with that cab <laughs> 900 hello <laughs> how you doing <laughs> tucking for speed through the slash into the second jump here. What? Excuse me, front 1080. What? Holy <laughs> God, the Abby is on a heater. Come Coming on. in with that backside 720. Wow. wow. Into our bottom section. This is where the speed is crucial. Nice air on the quarter. Tucking into this last rail. 50-50, front one wow. out. Wow. Oh, my wow. gosh, dude. Big run from the Abby. Letting the girls that she is... She's here to stay. She's here to stay, man. That and top rail. She's it's not going anywhere. No. Starting it off ride. super, super tech on that top section. I, I was not ready for the for the 1080. No, me neither, neither bro. It, and it was a perfect takeoff as well. She waited oh, up until so that last good. moment, popped it, got that energy, back seven, putting it down. That is uh, wow. That was a heater. We are on for something. <laughs> we are today. on. Oh, my goodness. Hello. 
So nice. I'm going to call it top, yeah. Into the 90s, 90s even. The judges. The judges are Stoked. rewarding her. Definitely hyped on that run for sure. Great run. Oh, my goodness. Let's hear it in the chat. What do you think of that run from Miyabi? Yeah. Are we team veteran or are we team newbie? <laughs> we have Evie Pop coming in next from Belgium. I would say more on the newbie side. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, still an up-and-comer for sure. Definitely, but, but already had some incredible I believe she got a World Cup podium. Yeah, yeah I think so too. Here we go. Evie Pop. Starting things off with the switch blunt. 270, uh, proper wow. lock in on that one. Coming in switch for the shark fin. Going switch backside 360. Putting it down solid. Great top section. Very nicely done. Coming into the first jump. Going cap 540. Pretty sure. Yes, she is. Whoa, whipping it around. Nice deep squad holding on to that landing. Through going the slush. Backside 720. Putting it down as well. Nice edge control. Here Jump number Just three. Money booter. Front side. Seven oh, yeah. to the bottom <laughs> and stomping it. Evie Huge. Pop. Look at that. Into the QP. Little Whoa. front side lean air, keeping it old school. Here we go. 50 50. Oh, front side lip slide to fakie, actually. And wow. putting it down. Great Evie run for Pop. Evie. Yeah. Dude. Way to back up Miyabi. Let's go. She was like, I see Miyabi. I see you. <laughs> let me let me show you what I let got me, right yeah. there. Yeah. Let me hop in on this. Wow. Similar top section. Very nice on the top section. Cat 5. And a little short, but still manages to pull it together. Back 7. Wrapping it around at the end. And the front 7 was beautiful. Huge, right too. I wonder if she got hit with a little extra yeah. sugar speed. Oh, yeah. She got, she got carried away there a little bit, <laughs> but holding on to it. Very nicely done from Evie Pop in round number one. Yeah, this is run. gonna be, yeah, definitely Second deserved. Sixty-seven point six for that first run, moving her up into second place. Great rank, great run. Very nice Excellent. place to be in after round number one. Now we have once again from the Netherlands, Melissa Pepperkamp, another World Cup rider. Yes, indeed, out here. And actually, she took a little break from competition riding, so getting back into it this season. Yeah, I believe she had an injury as well, so yeah. this is the comeback season for her. Dropping in, Melissa Peppercamp. Switchboard Sayway, taking a different rail option. Stoked to see that. Nice. As she is known for her jibs. Switch back with Eddie, a little poke. Just to let you know that there's some spice in there. Coming into this first jump through the slush. Backside, 720, mute grab, going Whoa. large. <laughs> She's got speed. Coming in through the slush into the second one. Whoa. Little front, 900. Wow. Hello. Come on. Coming into our money booter section. Cab 5 with a nice little poke in there. Wow. wow. Great wow. jump wow. section from Melissa Peppercamp into our heartbreaker section. Hold it together. Huge air. Final rare feature. 50-50, front one. Wow. Three runs, back-to-back. -back. Heavy heaters right there. She cannot she believe it herself. Is. Look at that. That was huge. Like I said, this top rail is super cool to see her taking that direction of feature. Did come off a tad bit early, but that I back like seven paid off in the jumps. Dude, that back seven was huge. And then the front nine as well. I haven't seen a front nine from a girl yeah, in a I long, long time. That. Great cat five, too. Very nice. Also getting a nice little air time on that QP, 50-50 front, 780 out. Nicely done right there. Great run for Melissa. What do you think? Second, third? Mm, I don't think it's going to touch gonna be tough. our first place, Miyabi. As I her. don't think either because Miyabi just put down a heater of a run in that first attempt. I think we're going to look at at least a top five position for sure. Top three, third place with a 64 nice. Very nice result so Great far score. for Melissa Peppercamp. And now we only have one more girl left to drop. Oh my goodness, Marie Fukada. Big fan. From Japan, definitely a big, big fan, fan for sure. Big fan of her coach too, Yasoto at the top. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel because I'm stoked on it. Really? My favorite YouTube channel. <laughs> nice, I, gotta, I gotta, gotta, gotta get a look into that one for sure. Marie dropping in. Here we go. Starting it off. Coming in, switch to that down rail. Switch front side, wow. blunt 270. Perfect. Taking a similar approach like Miyabi. Now coming into the 
Shark fin switch backside 540. Very nicely done through the top section. Looks like she has a lot of speed for that first jump going. Backside <laughs> 900. No. Oh. Oh. Marie Fukada getting a little much a little speed. Caught up there. Yeah, a little going big though. Dude, that was sick. That was that was looking really looking really nice. But now the pressure is on for round number two. Marie Fukada has to put something down if she wants to play in the podium spots. Looking forward to seeing that run because oh, I yeah, know she has sure. a lot to lot to show us. I mean, starting off with the back nine. Yeah. What do you think was Top her? Would have, was would have been her. I bet her she was jump going run. back nine, cab nine, front ten. Dude, that would be insane. That would be a heater of a run. Definitely looking forward to her second oh, run. Even going a little great rail. lip to seventy. I love this switch front board same way. That's a great such trick. a nice one. And the switch back side five forty on the side. And here just going a little oh, too deep and I'm a little bit off axis right yeah, there. Yeah, couldn't but get that full rotation like you said. Yeah, off axis from her on her nose. All right, so that's it for the first round of the women. Already, I'm already sweating. Honestly, <laughs> I'm, my high, armpits dude. are getting a little, little <laughs> wet out here, a little moist. <laughs> we are on for the, the first round for the men. Current standings for the women: Miyabi, the veteran, holding it down, big, taking the pole big position. Score. Very nicely done. Let us know in the chat what is your guess on the women's podium after this first run. Give us a little preview. What's your opinion on the riding of the girls? In my opinion, the girls are already killing it. The conditions are very, very much not very easy tough. with the slush. I mean, the weather looks perfect, but the snow is so soft. I mean, we have spring conditions up here. It is T-shirt weather, so definitely not the easiest way to start these finals, but the girls yeah. definitely putting it down. Yeah, and Miyabi, from the ladies. Miyabi showing experience definitely is key. Keenan and Demmer. I know Braden's watching. The whole family in Winnipeg. Keenan Demchek. Let's go. First European Cup. First European Cup final. Oh, actually. Yeah. That is sick to so see, he's, man. He's one to watch here. We got a couple other great riders in here. I mean, Campbell. Rocco, Rocco Jamison. You cannot oh. forget about this guy, man. He's so consistent. Went two for two in his qualification runs. Love to see that. And also... One of my all-time favorites, Nick Laframboise. Nick Laframboise. He wanted us to call him Nick Raz. Today. Nick Raz, okay. <laughs> Nick Raspberry. <laughs> At the st when we were in the in the house this morning. He okay, like, call Nick, me Nick Raz. Nick Raz, my man. <laughs> Gotta wait a little bit longer for Nick Raz. Next up, we have Canadian. The Dem Show. Keenan. Big Keenan. One of my fellow teammates up there with none other than legendary coach Joe McAdoo. And also, got to give a shout-out once again to the Schmob, man. <laughs> the Schmob. Here we go. Here he comes. Take what, it away. Probably my favorite top rail. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Day. This nice line. It's going to pop up into the backside disaster. Whoa! <laughs> Spins it around, <laughs> buttering into the front blunt same way. <laughs> wow. Keenan's starting off with a hammer Dude. on that top section. That balance that he has. Rodeo Whoa. tail grab. Oh, perfect. Oh, my God. Wow. Keenan coming into this first jump. With a vengeance. Let's see this. Cab nine. Nose to tail. Boom. Beautiful. Here we Tuck go. Tuck it for speed. Come on, We're boy. We're going to see that backside. 1260. Oh. Oh. Going a tad bit large. Oh, man. For a second right there, I thought he was going for a 1620, I, actually. I was, he told me yesterday, he's like, dude, I got something cooking. Let's go. And, I mean, clearly he's cooking. Nice method at the mm, bottom. But, dude, that. that top section was impeccable. In my opinion, he has oh, oh, a little... unfortunate slush catch. <laughs> In my opinion, oh. he has the most creative and hardest top section out of all the riders. And even, I would go so far beautiful. as saying wow. he has the hardest rail line comparing Euro Cup and World Cup as well. I think it's one of the most creative. Like it's so For sure. Cool. Yeah, I agree. For sure. I mean you look at the course and nobody but oh, Keenan would think of that line. And right there, as you said, just going a little bit large, a little bit much he's, sauce he's on that one. Yeah. He's cooking up something. For sure. Shmob, nice sick. Shmob in the chat. All right. Using the chat. Twelve point four for Keenan. Definitely looking to improve. He's stoked. I mean, he's stoked just to be stoked out here to be for out sure. Here, and next up, my buddy, the big boy, Daddy Longlegs. <laughs> 
One of my Mr. favorites. Mr. Jeremy Denda. Big J. Definitely on the come up in this season. Oh, had yeah. an amazing season. Breathing some World Cup air and even making his first World Cup final. Now coming into the first rail. Starting it off today with a back 780 on wow. cap 360 out. Money. Classic. Super steezy. Coming into the oh, shark hardway. fin. Hardway switch backside 540. Now into the jumps. Looking for a frontside double 12. Whoa, going massive. Hello. Holding on to it. <laughs> Does he have the speed for the cap 12? He's going He's for going. it. Putting it down. Coming up a little short, but still putting it coming down. Through the Will heater. we see the back 16? He's going for it. Oh, putting it down <laughs> somehow. I don't know what is happening right now. Jeremy Denda is on one into the Hawken flip. Now, last rail feature, frontside blunt, oh, 270 oh, out, Jeremy, look what? at this, my boy. Dude, Boom. coming in cooking. Oh my goodness, I mean, it was not the perfect run, but it, dude, he held he on to held that on one, and, and we talked down. about it before, your coach told you that if you have a little bobble, but you still manage to go on, go on. Keep going. Go for gold, and man. There, it looked like he was going too corked, almost. Yeah. Like, then, really stuck in the double 10 axis, but he brought dude. it around. And the back 16, dude. Look at that. That's a new one. Whipping not a new one around. anymore, I guess. Yeah, He's locked not, in. not anymore. A little hand drag on the back 16, but still putting it down. Front blunt 270. And I think wow. he knows that he has room for improvement, has room to clear up those landings for sure. Yeah. Oh, a little There's spectator. A hey. Love to see it tweaking that grab. Look at that little SSX for you. Little boneless. Got Coming shoes on. in. 65. I think that's a perfect score. That's actually decent. Yeah. That's very nice There's to start There's a couple bobbles, but a huge run. They know they know what's coming. Like we said, we have some for sure heavy riders with heavy runs, and that was a heavy run, which was huge. It's great wow. to see Jeremy put down. Hell Yuto yeah. Yuto Miyamura. Definitely also one of the Japanese riders to watch out for. One of the young bucks. He's fully masked up right now. Coming in. Japanese ninja. Great shredder. Love to watch this kid shred. Here he goes into our first section. The tube. Front one on. Cab one out. Board sli oh, blunt oh, side wow. same way, but coming off a tad bit early. Into that hard way front. Wow. Nine. Wow, I like that. That was proper. Big fan. Coming into this first jump switch. Cab, 12, 60. What? That's a lie. 14, 40. What? Wow, he went big. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he had room to spare. Dude, he was like, I'm going to fly real quick. Go yeah. <laughs> all the way down to Silva Plana, man. <laughs> Holy smokes. Wow. A little too much speed right there for you. Too Yuto. much sauce for the kid, but that, that shark fin feature was really nice. I'm Damn, like proper. Really proper. Proper pipe 900 right there. Oh, yeah. He's been Love putting to in the see work. it. He's got so much style, this kid. They oh, got a yeah. great team coming out of Japan. And it seems like every season there's a new face on the team that is absolutely Tearing ripping. up. It is so crazy to so see. So crazy. So many talented youngsters from Japan coming in. Yuto being one of them, but unfortunately going down on that cab 14 already. attempt. Has to wait for that second run coming up in a little bit now back to Leon Gutel at the start gate German Ripper Bavarian Bavarian oh yeah here we go come out street rider as well putting out street parts left and right starting things off the switch front board pretzel <laughs> oh my gosh giving it the sauce we wow. want into the Michael Chuck, little Michael Chuck action on the I side like. it, love it. Coming into the first jump, backside 540, taking it a little bit easier and actually losing some speed right there. Yeah, he's just gotta go for a chill run right now. Switch, switch back backside one. five. Uh, switch backside one, pardon me. Front side seven with the melon grab, stomping it. Definitely not the run he is looking for, but still Putting on run a little for the show. Soul. Yeah, run for the soul. Beauty stalefish. Front blunt. Gotta way. gotta feed the soul. And I mean, it's right? a landed run. Yeah, it's a landed run. And he's for out of sure. here. He said, "I'm uh, I'm gonna go get some coffee. Need some coffee. Be back in a bit. That was a sick pretzel. I'm here for Dude, it. Dude, the switch front board pretzel. I love that one. Yeah. I gotta bring that into my contest resume. Yeah, for sure. Good trick. 
So I'm not sure what was going through his head because the top section was looking pretty solid. Maybe he took a little bit of a fall in yeah, practice. We don't know. We are just interpret interpreting right now why he hold, held back a little bit. But second place. I mean, 32.6. We'll take it. Second place. Yeah. Could hold. It. Might not hold. I wouldn't bet on it. I wouldn't bet on it. But not not for sure. Ooh. Next Lion up. Barrel, the Kiwi. The Lion in Border. the start field. Roar. Ready to roar. Great riding this week. Dropping in into our first feature. Looks like he's going into this down tube here. Front two, same way. Boom. Perfect. Execution, 10. <gasps> no. Oh, my. Oh, no. No. Unfortunately, wow. Lion getting caught in that slush. No. Damn, that is that is so hard. That is so hard. And even though that wasn't a fall, I believe... But he's going to show us what's going Dude, look at that! <laughs> those. He was like, I'm here to play. Yeah. Watch out what's coming in run number two, As baby. As he should. Cab 12, rose Whoa. beef, or chicken salad. I don't know for sure. In Front side 14, mute to tail. Dude, <laughs> this jump line is incredible oh from my goodness. A little hand drag on that bottom. Into that front side cork seven on the QP coming into this last rail. Hardway cab one, Ooh, back one. Wow. Wow. Dude, I mean uh, unfortunately getting actually, caught in the slough. I'm I'm impressed right now. He got caught in that slush and he was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this as a practice lap. I'm gonna go back sixteen double nose. Dude, that is insane to see. Wow. Incredible jump run. I'm really excited to see what he does in the second run, but oh, yeah. yeah. I mean the pressure's gonna hard. be on. And in a situation like this, <coughs> pardon me, where you have a bobble that is actually not your fault per se, like he got caught in that slush, yeah, and really it wasn't really a technical sense. issue. Oh, a look really at that. wide line. Just he, you can tell he's also wondering what is, is what, going what on. Happened? Look at that back sixteen, dude. So enough to bump Leon Gutel into third, like we said. That score was. Probably not going to hold, so if you're at Probably home and you put not. money on it, I'm sorry. You're not going to get it. But I mean, Lion. Lion. Like we said, never give up. Never give up, Keep man. Got to get that shit going. The Kiwi. We got some Kiwis in the chat. Yeah, Kiwis put some the Kiwis chat. on the line for Lion. <laughs> Your give boy. Him, give him some good luck. Next up, we have Alex Latorto. And actually, at this point, I have to call that out. Alex and Jeremy both are fighting for the Swiss championship oh. title so either jeremy or alex are gonna end up on a podium today alex Ooh, starting it kink. off bro like. cap 270 on 270 out that's an aggressive kink too into the hard way front side 540 nice indy poke. poking it with a little nose bone coming in switch for that first jump going switch backside going oh! humongous oh my goodness oh man oh man Ma che cazzo fai, Alex? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's some ump to her. Dude, that switch backside. I think that was just too good of a takeoff right there. Well, yeah. Holy moly. I wonder what type of sugar sauce he got on his face. <laughs> oh my god. He's putting something fast Dude, on Dude, that was crazy. He went to the last line for sure wow. on that one. I mean, if he would have put that one down, I would have been very surprised. Going this big, that is he was, he scary was and heater. hard. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, Alex Latorto, a little throwaway run, unfortunately, for him, but through that top section, pretty much flawless with a cap two on two out, then a hard way front side. Wow. Five and going, I mean, literally I mean, going at the end of the landing. He was like, Bomba Clot? I don't need no <laughs> landing, baby. Holy moly. The slush. There's the two boys battling it battling out. Battling it out for the so, Swiss Championship title. Do you get a uh, World Cup spot if you win the Swiss Champs? Or is no, it just like no, bragging it's, ju rights? it's just, uh, just a it's nice, nice title to have. Pat on the back. Yeah. Put for it sure. in your Instagram bio. Exactly, exactly. There you go. Next up, we have Kunitake Hiroaki. Starting it off. The front three, front one. That was sick. 50-50 front board, 50-50 front blunt, same way. Sorry, mind my English, I'm blowing it. Into that backside, 1260. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my God. So perfect. Into this cab, 14. Oh, my gosh. Whipping Holding it on. around. Holding on. Coming into the second jump. 
Switch back. 10. Oh, I oh. think he was looking for the 12 I right there. I think he was looking for the 12 Pretty too. sure. Looks like he got caught in our slash. Oh! oh! What? Was that a Tony 09? 09? Oh my gosh. Man, that, that's a scary one to put oh! over a knuckle into the chuck. He, wow. Dude. Front blunt. Oh. Wow. Hiroaki is Unfortunately, coming, coming down on the switchback 10, but giving us a little... Sh a little love on that. I mean, Todio 9. Dude, gotta love I that messed one. up this top section. Sorry, viewers at home. That was a cab 3, cab 1 into a 50 frontside blunt, same way. Back 12. Dude. Spinning in. That is crazy. That is and crazy. I, I think you know that yourself that shark fin, the landing of the shark fin is not too easy. There's no. a lot of impact on that one. So uh, It's pretty flat. Pretty heavy to see Hiroki going for a backside 1260 on that shark fin. So, once again, it's going to be a throwaway run. And, ladies and gentlemen, actually, I kind of like how this is going because there's a lot of pressure cooking up in the pressure cooker for <laughs> round number two. We're going to have an insane showdown in round number two already. And we still have plenty. More, more than half plenty of the field coming in. And next up, I think you want to take the next one. Uh, sure. Frank the Tank. I'm going to take the wheel on this one if you Yeah, don't mind. go for it, man. Go for it. This is my boy, the champion. Oh, and I think, I think he has also something cooking up. We saw him go for something crazy. He's got something cooking. Oh, yeah. Watch out for Frank. The Quebec assassin. Big fan of Frank's riding. He's been on the scene showing you guys just what he can do, and he's coming in this first rail with that. Nose press front one. Switchboard side, same way. All the way. Oh. Missed the camera a little bit, but he stomped that into the second feature. Big cab underfoot melon grab. Taking off at the back there into our first jump. Here we go with his backside. 1260 roast B. What? Through the legs. Oh my Perfect. God. Perfect. Frank on a run. Will we into see it? Into the second feature. Okay. Switch backside, 1260. Wow. Wow. Perfect. Coming into our final money booter. Front side 1440. Get there, Frank. Oh! A front little too side. much torque on that one, but he's still going to continue this run into that big front side 360. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, Frank. Decking on the QP. Decking on the QP. Great top section. That Great two kick. jumps. He didn't show us the cooking we were thinking he yeah, was cooking. We all maybe. thought he was going the dub radio, but I think that was a smart play. That was actually a smart play, and he put that switch back side 12 down perfectly. So it was the right choice, but unfortunately, as you said, a little bit too much sauce on that front 14. Yeah. Going front 14 into the salsa 360. Look at that, landing. roast beef. Oh, beautiful. Oh. That's a great switchback 12. If you're watching this and you're a kid at home and want to learn how to switchback 12, screen record for, this video. Go for that. Go for that. Yeah. Perfect And then example. too much spin on that front 14, but... Oh, man. He saved that one quite good. Me and actually. him were practicing the pipe, too. Yeah, the you gotta go for it, man. We spent a whole day at pipe boot camp. Boot camp sorry. Gotta go for the boot camp in the yeah. pipe for sure. Damn. We have more and more transition features in the slope style competition. So definitely gotta get that pipe game up. And somebody who has the pipe game in his Does sleeve ever. is Cam Melville Ives, the Kiwi ATV from New Zealand. Here we go. Starting things off with a hard way. 270 on, 270 oh! out, <laughs> whipping it around right there. Oh my goodness, going hard way front side, or cab 540, Deep I believe cab 540, into the there first go. jump, Let going back cook. side, oh my god, going big oh. on the back 12, and just, wow, speed, dude, speed, what is going I mean, on? I thought they were having a little trouble in practice, but it looks like they have all the speed they need for that first yeah, jump, you know least. what, here's what I think, I think in practice, the speed was tight, and then I think here in the qualifiers, they're Thinking the speed is tight and then going to the moon as we've yeah, seen. Yeah, man. Um, it's hard. It's a hard mind game. As much as this for sure. contest is riding. And go the for the double. Is... Going for the double in the pipe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. As we said, Cam, definitely an ATV. He has the pipe skills to throw down tricks like this one. Frontside double. Kiwi Shredder. That was tight, dude. Oh, my God. Hard he whipped too. that one around to the cap five. 
and just going to the moon on that backside. Well, he <laughs> knew it already on the takeoff, opening up a little Great earlier. Great spot, though. Very nice but save. Yeah, fortunately. And that frontside double, look at that. Dude, how? How? It's just a little Beyblade right there. Another throwaway run. And I think I saw it before in the chat. That's why we have two runs. Brayden. Brayden D, that's Keenan's older brother. Oh, Brayden knows what's up, Coach man. Coach Demchek. All right. He's still tuned in. Next he beat me up. in a game of snow, actually, a couple oh, years really? ago. I'll, I'll give him that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got to get back to that one as well. Oh, yeah, we're going on revenge for sure. Leon Wackensberger, the German bar barbarian, as you said earlier. I yes. like that one. Coming into this first rail. Front two, same way. Ooh. Switchboard side, same way. Oh, ah. Missing the last down. Taking a slower approach at that top section. Into that cab. Seven Ooh, tail. Style it like. out, though. Coming into our jump line, switch, backside, 1260, going large, <laughs> putting it to his toes. My goodness. Into the second jump. Front side, 1080, melon grab, putting lovely. It down. Coming into our money booter. Classic backside. Coming into our backside, triple cork, Indy, with the juice. Dude. I love that. That is one of my favorite back 14s at the moment. Coming into our quarter pipe, our heartbreaker section. Front, underflip, 720. Front two, cab two, same way, with wow. a little butter. With a little sauce, extra sauce. A little shimmy. A little shimmy, shimmy, ya. Uh. Great, great run all around, other than this top section. Yeah, which... just messing up on that rail. And maybe for the viewers at home, that double kink is long. That thing is a hog. It is super long and definitely got to be locked and loaded if you want to get to the end. Leon, unfortunately coming off early Great jump line, though. But the jump line, I mean, that back 14, it never gets old with that final poke. Yeah, I bet you this puts him into second with the way yeah. our uh, I mean, contest yeah, has pretty sure. gone so far. The only rider that has put down a full pull is Jeremy Denda. Big J. Big J. J Money. On the pole position. Oh, what's good? Shimmy <laughs> All right, the chat is cooking right now. <laughs> Brayden Demchek, that game of snow was not years ago. <laughs> it was Brayden. pretty much yesterday. <laughs> Brayden. <laughs> Brayden. Something is Come to Whistler. Right there. Come to Whistler. <laughs> Just kidding. You uh you probably still could cook me on the rails. I know. I know you got it in you. Alrighty. Next up we have Kira Kimura, oh, my one dog. of the other Japanese youngsters. Always has a smile. That's just always, always so smiling. stoked. Actually, and homie yeah. is homie's just built different. Oh, he's built different. Coming Starting in. it off right now, coming in to the flat bar. 50-50, mm -hmm. front to 180 out, into the double kink. Mm. Board slide, switch board slide, same way, 270 out, into the shark fin. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> yes. Flipping it up and over with the switch double. 900 coming in to this first jump, going front side 1080, double corking. Tucking for speed well, we'll into jump here. number two, going backside. 1260. Putting it down perfectly into that last jump. Going switch backside. Switch backside, 1260. 1260. And I think that's a strategic move right there. He's Great. trying to put something down, exactly. getting a score on that board. Coming Whoa! into the QP. Beautiful crippler. Front side 270 on oh, 270 out, run, putting it down. Kira coming in with a strategic safety run right there. Like you said, yeah, putting a putting run down is so key in this weather. And let's take a quick look, quick glance at the current standings. In the top two spots, we have two somewhat landed runs from Jeremy Denda and Leon Fockensberger, both in the 60s. So not that big of scores right now in the top spots. So well, a we lot still got of some uh, some hammers. I mean, we got a lot of hammers coming your way. So, but I mean, I love that a good competition always has oh, yeah. to have some some tension, some pressure cooking. So, the second run is gonna be where it's at, right? Yeah, there. great run, Kira. That could do it. I mean, they gave could Leon a sixty, it. and he did come off the top rail. Yeah, decently Leon early came off a little early right there, but Kira putting it down top to bottom. I bet you he gets a 66.253. That's a bold <laughs> bold call right there. I, I would say he go. gets a 68.69. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be for, Just for the jokes. Just for the chat. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> W's Little in the chat. 69's in the chat, baby. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. We're keeping it <laughs> family friendly out here. 69 is just a number. For As all the, the kids out there, it's just a number. Kira is cooked, though. Go jib. Yeah, Kira <laughs> definitely cooked, my man. Kira but cooked, cooked in a good way. Homie's cooked. Cooked perfectly, as the Italians would 68. say. Oh, 68! Oh, <laughs> almost calling it right there. 68. Wow, dude. 6 You got to take Kira. your headphones off and hop Damn. in the booth with the judging. You got to go help him out. <laughs> Man, Look almost landing that plane right there. I wonder Kira, if they heard us. Kira in the top spot for now. <laughs> Next up, we have another heater all the way from New Zealand. Who do we have? Big dog, Rocco Jameson, the hound. Give us some Kiwis in the chat for Rocco. Come this on. Guy is a, he's a powerhouse, all right? He's oh, been yeah. putting down tricks. His Instagram edits have been fire. I mean, he's a gangster straight up. Gangster back one to start it off. Coming to this first real switch. Cab two, switch up. What? Stop. Into our first shark fin hit. Michael Chuck, bring back. <laughs> kind of like a Tonio, but more of a Michael Chuck, bring back. I love it. So nice. Into our first jump here. Switch backside. 1260, going large. Stopping <laughs> it. <laughs> Nothing for Rocco. Into the second jump. Backside. <gasps> 1440. <laughs> Rocco putting on a heater for us. Does he have final speed? jump. He's going to go front side. He's going for it. 1440. Oh, my God. Rocco with our heaviest run. Dude. Jump run of the day into this last feature. He is unstoppable. Oh, the cripple is stale. Styling it into the front two on. Front two four. Wow. wow. Rocco Jamerson. Dude. And Rocco, the most consistent rider in the whole competition right there. He is having he a great He hasn't week. missed a run so far. I love During that. quali, he went two for two. And now, stomping the first run in finals. Huge switch back, back 12. To the bottom. Oh, switch back 12. My, my mistake. And the back 14 with the indie tailbone, so sick. He's having a great season. It's so fun to watch him. And putting that front 14 down perfectly. And that stale fish on the crippler, just a oh. mm, thing of beauty. Wow. And I believe... Rocco and Kira should start a restaurant so they can... They are cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I agree. I love that, man. I, agree. I love that. Thanks for keeping us hyped Hell in the chat. Yeah. I wonder what that restaurant is going to be called. I don't know. Rocco and Kira starting a restaurant. Who knows? 79.8. There's the scores. Wow. Our highest score of the day. Well-deserving run for Rocco. Definitely deserves that one. He gives one. us a thumbs up. He's stoked. Hell yeah. And even riding in a t-shirt. I mean, goes it's to show it is, it is so hot right now. It is hot. It's hot. And the next rider. Oh, oh my even. goodness. Also... In the World Cup scene, Oivin Kirkus. Border. From Norway. Border through and through. Starting it off the backs of 180 on. Coming off switch. Into the switch blonde. 270. Ooh, like. On the double kinker. Into the shark fin. Going switch oh! backside rodeo to the Shmeet, moon. Sweet, dude. Oh, my goodness. Now coming in for jump number one. Going backside 1260 with the melon. Perfect. Great spot. Coming in for jump number two. Going switch backside. Switch back that oh! triple. Oh, wow, <laughs> putting it down. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. And off the oh. toe stopping. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> dude, what a run! What is happening right now? Oivin is putting on a show of his own into the wow. front side seven in the pipe, going humongous. Switch oh, from wow. 450 out. Wow. I'm impressed right now. That jump run was incredible. Holy smokes. I didn't see that switch triple 12 coming. I didn't either. I, didn't I knew that he had that one, but I didn't know that he was going to throw it in that first one. Wow, round. dude. That was pretty much perfect. Let's take another look at the jump line. Switchback rodeo starting it off. Wow. Back 12. Perfect landing. And that switchback triple. Dude, that's incredible. <laughs> And this the is incredible. Rodeo. The Marcus Cleveland special. Oh I'm pretty sure Marcus Cleveland went and taught all the Norwegian riders how to do how that. How to do the Toadio for sure. Maybe a little a bit little early. early off right there, but still manages early. to whip that around. So Oivind definitely going to get a decent score right there for his first run. Oivind is killing it right now. Oh, my goodness. The chat is hyped. Oh, that my run. gosh. I'm hyped. Dude, the double Toadio. An 83. Oh, well yeah. That is definitely first place. deserved. So, some landed runs are coming into play now. Love to see that. Absolutely loving it. And still, I mean, he got an 83, but he still has room to spare. Like, he has 
room for improvement for sure. Next up, the young Frenchman definitely on a come up in this season Ooh, as well. Romain yeah. Lettuce. I Romain. I call him Romain Lettuce, but it's okay. Maybe because his tricks are smooth like lettuce. You can call him what you want. Here we go. Front one into the bank. Cab one, front three, nose, nose, nose grab, maybe, yeah, little, maybe tapped a little, a little, a little sugar on there, a little tickle <laughs> <laughs> into this first jump with the back rodeo Whoa. melon. Almost like a Michael Chuck 180 out there. Yeah, I like that. Switch backside. Whoa. Sorry, 1620. <laughs> what? What? Starting it off Romaine hard. Romain with some heat into the backside 12, 1080. All right, all right. All right, all let right. Him, let him cook, let him cook. <laughs> into this. Bottom section jump. First oh. side 14, bloody Dracula. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Great jump section into our bottom features here. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Going to the moon. Oh, my God. Into that front side 2-4. Wow. Oh, oh my these God. boys Romain. are cooking. Dude. They are chefing, dude. They are on. It is like they're whipping it around, <laughs> like yeah. making sure it Stirring is perfect, though. Dude, that was an incredible run. Oh Romain has been on fire all season. Dude. Coming First World Cup podium yeah. in teens. In his home country as well. Yeah, How incredible. Good must that that was a perfect switchback succeed. Dude. And I think... I'm he did sure. take it a little easy like, on this middle jump, but... He has a backside 14, I believe. And he also has the frontside 18. And I mean, he, is this a smart play for... Ro that was humongous. That was insane. This is huge. a really s smart play due I to mean, the fact that we haven't seen a lot of runs. True. And he also had that bloody Dracula grab. Where you we don't reach see behind that. your back, which is insane. We don't see I mean, that, he's, that often. He's got, he's got to do a lot of yoga to do that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> he's stretching. Romain, let us know how you do that. It's the lettuce, dude. It's the, it's he's the, lettuce. the lettuce. Hell yeah, man. That crippler was massive. He was boosting for sure. Oh my goodness. This final is well and truly on its way. And the chat is cooking up, man. I love to see that. It's exciting to see all these boys shredding. Dude, it's and so just, nice. Gaining this energy off each other. Dude, I, I want to I wanna go shred right 80, now. 80 on the dot. Okay. I'd, I'd say that's a good score. That's very nice yeah. from the judges for sure. Taking yeah, it a little bit easy on that second jump, but still putting it down. Sitting Everything himself else is great. into second place. Hey, great run. Romain. Nicely done. And next up, we have the Dutchman, Sam, Sam Vermaat. Ready to rock and roll. Homie has been on a tear he as has well. Great season. Also, first World Cup also podium. Also, first World Cup podium. Copper Big Air. Exactly. Probably one of the harder Big Airs to get a podium in, For too. For sure. Starting Ooh, it off switch back tail. Damn. Or back lip. 270 out. Coming like. switch to the shark fin. Going cap. Double nine on him. Hello. Uh. Coming into the jump section. Starting it off with a backside 1260. Melon grab. Putting it down like. It is nothing coming in. Switch. Go and switch backside. Oh! oh my god, switch backside 12 with the tail grab. I like that. Is on a bit of a weird so access nice. too in there. Front oh. side. Oh! Oh. oh! He went for it. Taking off just a little bit early. Yeah, just couldn't quite get that pop on that front and double 14. The speed. But I oh. mean, he still almost held on to that landing. Yeah, that was a. That was a Good cook and run, too, I mean, as we've seen. That was a core workout itself, that landing. Sam Vermaat. Sam we've, se we've seen a lot of landed runs in the past. Some but hit, yeah. now, once again, we're back with another throwaway run. But still, very nice run to start it off. I think that's going to build his confidence. Because he knows that he has that frontside double 14 with the tail grab, for sure. He has that on lock. Just coming up a little bit short as you said, a little early on that takeoff. Crippler 7, a little bit deep down in that transition. So he knows what he has to change to get this run done. And next up, let's take a look. Who is going to be next on our start list? I think it's the... Oh! Ooh. I was mistaken. I thought it was Nick Raz, but not yet. Not yet. you got to wait a little longer. We got the kid, Jay Cantor, with... Probably one of the biggest practice runs we've seen all week. He posted that one on. Did he post it or was he it? He posted a story? it. It's been. On, it's it's on the feed. One of the hardest slope style jump lines, in my opinion. It was. It was. Incredible. I mean, definitely for Jake, it was the hardest one for sure. Yeah, and I mean, it's up there. It's a, a 12, 16, 18 is a huge run these days. It Here is. we go, Jake Cantor with the front blunt, same way. Board side, board side pretzel, nice pop out. Wow. Coming into our first 
jump like feature with that cab seven tail uh, opening Stomping. up nicely. Here we go. The money booter where Jake shines into these first jump. Switch back side 1260. Perfect. Boom. Coming into our second jump through the slush. He's going to give us that backside triple cork 1620. Dude. Look at that energy, man. Oh my gosh. Even such a nice. That's like a Mark McMo back 16. Going Can for it. Triple Cap 16. <laughs> Jay Cantor. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> what is happening? Wow. A huge method. Oh. Wow. Coming in. Finish it off first, Jake. Front blunt, same way. Oh, my God. Look he at that gassed. claim. Jake is gassed wow. as he should be. Dude, that cap 16 Dude. was wild. I <laughs> wonder if that, oh, my I, God. I don't know if he's meant to do that. I don't, I don't think he was meant to do that, but... He is such a good snowboarder that he improvised he, mid-air. He's just able to do that. I think you can see off the takeoff, actually, he gets caught in one of the ruts. But and he gets wow. super flippy. I think he wasn't supposed to be that flippy no. on that axis. That's our biggest jump line of the day, no doubt about that. For sure. He has a great back 16. I'm a huge Look fan. Look at that. Look at that, Whoa. Cap. And putting it down perfect, as it was meant to be. What the method. Jake Cantor. Dude. He's hyped. And that claim at the end right there, I love it. He's checking his shoulder. He threw <laughs> a little too <laughs> hard. Jake, what a run, man. Jake, shout out to Let's you, man. You got 89. It. Oh, yes. Jumping high in the well first place. Well deserved right there. Wow. Holy. And he is still hyped on He's that one. He's gassed. Let's go. Jake is having himself a good one today. Big run for Mr. Cantor. But now, let's not finish this off too soon. This guy... The big dog. Came in to play the big small dog. The the, the, the raz. Small, the small big dog. The razor. The razor. With his nice new jacket from Value Village. Everyone in the chat, tell him you like his jacket. <laughs> First feature. Here we go. Razmataz. Front blunt, same way. Switching it up from qualities. With that board slide, board slide. That's all right. He did not mean to do that, but he is going to improvise here with the backside rodeo melon. Because Nick is a competitor, and he knows that little mistakes can be fixed. Now into his signature. Switch back. <gasps> oh! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Switch back. Oh seven. And improvising Whoa. it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what is happening? <laughs> Switch back. Switch back. No! Come on. Oh Give it to goodness. him, please. Nick going oh. full improvision. I haven't seen Nick do <laughs> a switchback 12 or a front 12 probably my entire life. And he just did those two tricks. So I think uh, it was actually a cap 12 on that, on that Nick, second good one. good for you for improvising. Holy <sighs> moly. Wow. See, here's where he went wrong. We all... He wanted the pretzel. He wanted that pretzel, but, but he was no like, pretzel. I'm going to keep going. Back Beautiful rodeo. back rodeo. But pulling out of the Dude. switch rodeo, I have never seen him... Oh! Incredible and cap physics. 12 as well. Oh, it was cap 12. Ooh, it was cap 12. Thank yeah, you. dude. I cap haven't seen 12 cap 12 since. <laughs> he should be hyped from the cap 12 because that is he hasn't done those in a while. And I mean the cap 12 was money perfect, right there. It dude. was perfect. It was beautiful. And then that would have been a back 12 at the end. Oh my goodness. My, my, I'm an Nick, English speaking person blowing it right now. But Nick Raz, man. Oh, Razmataz. Getting my heart going right there. Switchback Rodeo 7. Dude, what? A 1660, not gonna touch. I mean, our top contenders, unfortunately. I would be curious to see where this run, if he would have landed that one, where this run would have let him go. But dude, I would have put it in first place. I mean, but I'm also a biased Canadian. <laughs> of course, yeah, <laughs> of course. And we were frothing it too. We dude, were, it we was were sick, man. It was sick. And next up, we have the last rider to drop in for his first run in today's final, ladies and gentlemen. We have. Hiroto Ogiwara, the first snowboarder to put down a backside 2160. A five full rotations. Sorry, six full rotations. Uh, that's a lot. Starting it off with a nose press front of 180 out into the switch blunt 270 through the double kinker. Watch out for this side hit. Go and switch Excuse backside 1260 on him like, hello. Sorry. <laughs> He's spinning. He came to play. Starting it off on the jump. Going front side. Oh! 14. Putting it down. Mute to tail. Coming into the second jump. Going backside. Backside 16. 20. Mallon Light putting work. it down. Perfect. Wow. Here we go. What's it going to be for that final jump? Going cab. 
Oh! Cap triple 12. Humongous. Easy money for Hiroto into the quarter pipe. Oh, Crippler. Perfect Crippler. Finish Perfect. Off. Into the mustache rail. Board slide. Oh! oh! Board slide through the mustache rail. What? I don't got one of those. This I, one. I, need this a, one, I need to work on mine. Yours is really nice. Thank you, bro. Thank but you. Hitting the mustache rail. First rider I've seen. First rider in. In general, I think in Euro Cup and World Cup, we have wow. seen a rider hit that rail and get old. But I wonder if he'll get docked due to the fact that he did come off earlier. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, he'll get rewarded for hitting it, I hope, because that's a technical dude, rail. His jump line was so insane. So insane, dude. That back 16 it's looked a like piece of art. It looked like a back five to him, honestly. Yeah. Into the cap, triple, triple ish. Run. Beautiful crippler, and here the mustache rail. Oh, I mean, he touched it he all the way it. to the end. He did touch it. Let's see if he's going to get rewarded. Killjoy in the chat is dizzy. As are we, honestly. Yes, indeed we are. Felix Laframboise. Is that a I brother? believe that's, uh, yeah, next brother. What's up, Felix? Love all the way to from see, Quebecois. Love to see the Laframboise family out here. And in the chat. when we get the overall ranking for... Run number one results. Chat, let us know your predictions for the final yeah, settings. Yeah, we'd love to hear it. We'd love to talk with the chat, too. Yeah, man. We're streamers today. We're streamers <laughs> out here today. Follow us. We're going to stream it out. We're going to stream. Let's Actually, go. I was talking to Leon Vockensberger, and he just spent a week with a ton of streamers. Oh, yeah, I know, he was I know. saying they make mad cash. So It's crazy. Maybe, maybe we should start. Maybe we should get into we'll it. We'll stream. Uh, Starting up some streams. Yeah, let's do it. I'm love down. Love to see it. Yeah, man. I don't Hell really know yeah. what I'd stream, but I'm not I'm not a big video gamer, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean you don't have to be. True. I mean it, it's funny if somebody is streaming and he's shit at the video game. <laughs> just ha you know, just having fun with yeah. it. Eighty eight four oh, okay. zero. They gave it to him. They gave it to him for sure. Eighty eight point four for Hiroto Ogiwara, so currently sitting in second place. Yeah. Let's take a look at the overall it. ranking right now. Once again, let us know your predictions for the final standings. And, oh boy, it is a heater right now. And still, a lot of the riders have yet to put down a run. So, a there's, lot of things can shake up in here. There's some food on the table. Dude, there's some food on the table. And yeah. as we said before, the dogs are here couple to eat. Couple dogs. Couple dogs are out here. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, Truth is going to take a little breather right now. I'm going to take over on solo right now. Solo mission dropping in from the battle boss in a little bit. Oh my goodness. The final of the slope style for the snowboarders is well and truly on the way. It is crazy out there. I mean, it is t-shirt weather right now. You can go out there and get a nice little sunburn for yourself if you're not paying attention to the sunscreen game. Seeing some... Nice little tourist and a little bit of Leo Saraiva doing a little frontboard right there. It is a beautiful day out here today. Corvac Silva Plana hosting one of the last competitions for the snowboarders. And now we're going to get right back into the women's division. We have the current standings right here for the women after run number one. The veteran Miyabi Onitsuka leading the way so far. And... There's a lot of things that can shake up, I believe. But Miyabi, not going to lie, sitting in a pretty comfortable spot right there. Reshape is going down, and it is definitely a needed reshape. As we talked about it before, the slush is real out there. Not an easy day. Even though it looks absolutely perfect, the snow conditions are super soft which makes it very difficult to take off on these big jumps but we've seen it from a couple of riders already if you are light on your edges there is room for 1620s 1260s 1440s maybe even an 1800 i don't want to speak too soon but there's a lot of guys out there in the start field that definitely have an 1800 up their sleeve so Best believe it's going to be a throwdown in round number two. We have a little prediction from Braden Demchuk. Keenan Demchuk, Randy. De 
love that putting out your friends on the podium that's what it's supposed to be love to see it from Braden actually super hyped on all the viewers out here 229 people in the stream right now love to see it and this guy right there Martin Ustic the chief of fist comp right now I believe I hope I didn't say anything wrong but Martin had one hell of a season for sure organizing so many comps a lot of World Cups a lot of Euro Cups and homie has been putting in the work for us riders and for the viewers at home to have a great show all season long definitely hasn't been the easiest season for competition with the weather that has been very difficult on a lot of these competitions but even more gets me hyped to see this competition happening right now we have perfect weather sun is shining other than these slushy snow conditions it is literally the perfect dream right now Corvac Silvaplana the place to be in Switzerland can we get some more predictions out here please and thank you all right I think my co-host is coming back into the booth yes I am correct you haven't missed anything buddy okay. homie went for a quick little dip now we are back together dropping in for the next duo part oh look at that nice little tower for the cameraman look at the prediction right there from Braden <laughs> Keenan, Randy, Joe, I love it. <laughs> That's sick, right? I'm here for it. I'll put money on that. <laughs> Hell yeah, love to see that. Randy Damchak, the father of Keenan and Brady. Oh, that's the course. father, actually. Sick. Randy's the father. He's also a snowboarder? Uh, I don't know if he's a boarder, but he does run the uh, the border club back in Winnipeg. Sick, that's so, so nice border to family. see. Border family. Love to Randy's see that. Randy's definitely boarding. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, sorry everyone, had to go release the drainage pipes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're back. Actually, I seen Love Jay that. Cancer, one of the riders in the lobby, and he did confirm the Cab 16 he meant to do. He meant to do it? Yeah. Okay. So okay. it was huge run from Jake. Dude, insane. Uh, did he confirm any rumors of uh, potentially stepping up the game and going to the future? Yeah, there's some potential there. Oh, he's boy. Better, he's better release the, the inner hound. Oh, my gosh. Which will be really but cool you know, to see. Tough one, the tough part for Jake is that he is dropping pretty late in the start field, so the jumps are going to be difficult to They're hit for him. going to be eaten up a little bit for sure. Yeah, it is definitely not an easy game today for all the riders. As I said before, slush conditions are very tough. And there you see our camera team, Ruedi Flück and Valentin Müller. Valentin being the filmer and Ruedi being the photographer. For the Swiss team? Uh, no, just for the competition oh, in general, yeah. The homies, the homies. are out of here today. And like actually, got to give a shout-out to Ruedi for going crazy with his new haircut. Ooh, the guys nice had a little party with the judges, and we were at dinner, and they came back, and literally everybody had a new haircut. No way. And like, gnarly haircut. That is sick. It is so nice to see. It was I like a party. gnarly haircuts. Dude, it was sick. Like a... Like a how mullet do you call that? Beat? Mullet type and uh I'm trying to get a mullet and some some crazy mustache action happening. <laughs> like you know the the mustache that goes all the way. Oh here. the 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 trucker one. Yeah, the trucker yeah. mustache, bro. It was so sick to see. I like and also one of the judges gotta give a shout out to him. Speaking used to have an insane mustache uh, sorry, mm. mustache beard, super long beard and now he has a perfectly cut smaller beard, and it looks oh, like a new person, man. Yeah, they chopped it a down. A little bit younger, maybe. I found when people shave their beards, they lose like 10 years of yeah, age. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't look like Santa Claus anymore. He <laughs> looks like a young man, and it's so nice to see. Yeah, the guys are having a good time out here. And it's I mean, good. it's so nice to see. Like, I've been uh, unfortunately injured for the past three seasons, but I've. Oh, look at that! Kino hey! also getting, getting the oh, new. <laughs> Looking good. He also got his like mustache it. game on point, Guido. I mean, come on, give it up for the man himself. Wow, yeah, right I there. love it. I'm trying to get like that. Dude, the mustache game, it's it's a Damn, nice one yeah, for you sure. You guys are cooking. Yeah, man. 
I'll grow some hair one day. And I actually shaved my beard today. I don't know if anyone oh, noticed. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, you look great. Yeah, thanks. Look dude. like a look like look like I did young, before. Look like a very young man. <laughs> Good looking young man for sure. <laughs> Oh, In any case, you, what brother. I was talking about, I was injured yeah, for the past three seasons, which was very unfortunate, but I had the opportunity to get into this speaker business and get to meet the judges and the staff behind all the competition. And it's so nice and so refreshing to see all of these nice persons, nice people just in general, just friendly people that have sure. passion for the sport and try to make the best competition possible for all of us guys. I feel like in some competitions the judges are being very harshly treated but oh, guys yeah. honestly they hardest just job. try to do their best and it is the hardest job and yeah. we just got the confirmation we're starting it off once again with suzuki momo you want to take it away sure i'll start her off momo landed a first run we're going to see if she steps it up here really solid first run coming in to this first rail. Switch blunt, same way. Wow. Boom. That was perfect. Locked and loaded. <clears throat> She's locked in. Switch back, 180, with a nice little indie poke. Coming into our jump line. She's going front five again. So nice and calm. Such a good style. Locking in that toe edge on the landing. Coming in. She's going to set this up. Oh. Cab, 900. Oh, little back seat. Does she have the speed for the last one? Little back seat coming in. Back three. Oh, okay, that was a good decision, actually. Good good decision to stick to the three. Oh, love to see her step it up on those jumps coming into this bottom section. Nice little indie on the quarter, 50-50. Front three, 60 out, stepping up the bottom rail. Wow, that run was – she had it. I mean – but. Suzuki Momo stepping it up on that second jump. Love that axis on the cap nine. I love it too. It's great to see her too. Notice that she landed around. Has potential to get on that podium, but knew what she had to do. And went, I mean, that was I mean, there. She, she went for it. That down. Beautiful wow. cap nine. And also grabbing in between her legs on the heel edge. So I love it. Going for that technical grab. And then just coming a little bit short on that backside 360. But then. Hopping the difficulty yeah. in that final rail with the front set 360 out. Nicely done from Suzuki Great showing Momo. from the young Japanese rider. Currently Hell sitting yeah. in fourth place. Like we mentioned earlier, the hardest position to be in, but a really good result. Really good position to be in as well, yeah. yeah. For sure. Okay. 60.20, not going to step up. Not quite an four. improvement, unfortunately, for her. But as we said before, sitting in fourth place currently. So... Pretty nice spot to be in. Next up, we're going to switch it over to China, where we have Xiong Shirui getting ready for her second run. Currently sitting in sixth place. Has some work to do if she wants to get into that podium position. Starting it off with a nice locked-in front blunt Street to style. switch. Getting some street cred out there into the cap 360. Oh. Speed checking into the first jump coming up. Going switch back at 540, putting nice. it down. Nicely done. Coming in to our second. There we go. Front side seven. Putting it down Large. this time. Nicely done. Final jump coming up, going backside 720. Oh, perfect. perfect back landing. Seven. Oh, wow. This into the QP heartbreaker section. Run coming together right here. Front side air. Going for the rainbow. Oh! 50 fronts of 180 Whoa. out and putting it down. Wow. Oh, my goodness. China Great in the building. Great run for China. Hell, and yeah. I mean, that's going to be an improvement for sure. That's going to be an improvement for Xiong sure. Xiong Shirui I putting love that it run. down. I'm not quite sure what went down on that first run for her. I think she couldn't quite stomp one of the jumps, if I'm completely so, correct. But putting it down so At the bottom, solid. too, as we've seen, the... Quarter pipe air was smaller than most of the ladies we've seen today, but her rainbow rail taking I mean, that was the proper. harder feature. That was proper. Yeah, I, I don't. I think she's gonna get rewarded. I think that's gonna put her into second or third, if I'm being honest here, JJ. All right, let's 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 see what the judges have to say. I mean, honestly, once again, very happy. I am not a judge at this point. <laughs> the most difficult job in the world. The hardest, for sure. And I would be the worst. You would actually be pretty good. You already nailed one. Well, I think at some point I would be a little biased <laughs> as well. But here you have it. Into rank number three. 65-4-0. Great score.
great run and great riding from the the Chinese rider Xiong Shirui. Yeah, you got that name. Probably Xiong Shirui. Great probably riding. the hardest name to say. Yep. In the whole field, but putting it down in run number two. Love to see it. Next up, yet to put down a run. We have Nora Cornell from Spain. Probably feeling a little bit at home with these warm temperatures right now. Yeah, it's cool to see different uh, different countries coming together in the snowboard sure, sport. And For Spain sure. is like, when I think of Spain, I think of soccer. But now I'm thinking of boarding. Boarding, man. I'm here for it. She's dropping in. Fell on her first run. Going to try to clean it up this run. Switched up same way. Putting it down. Sorry, switchboard same way. Come on with that switch straight air. Love that. Which is really, really hard. Really not that easy Like, you're to never do. going to catch me doing that in a run. Let's see. So great for her. Cab 5. Nice. Getting that takeoff way better this Boom. run. Holding her speed. Everything is open from now on. Front side. 7. Oh! No! Just... <sighs> too much on the heel edge and I mean folks look at those landings they are I mean, beaten up it is a battlefield out there oh that is disappointing for the young yeah, uh, Spanish rider she sure. was on a heater uh, for us there I mean nice to see her put that cap 5 down in round number 2 but then just taking a little bit too much yeah. on that front side 7 not able to put things down but I think she's also pretty new to the Euro Cup field, so she is definitely going to have a lot more seasons to come yeah, and to play out for there, for sure. I mean, even getting into the final Huge. on a course like this, very nice. Oh, this course is one of the most technical courses you ever hit in your career. And it's long as well. It is a long is course, so plus long. you have the heartbreaker section down there with oh. the quarter pipe and the technical rails at the bottom, so definitely one of the hardest courses out there, for sure. Yeah. All right, we get a Nora. Oh, no. oh. Let's take a look. Next up, we have Romy van Vreden. From the Netherlands. From the Netherlands, the Dutch lady currently sitting in sixth place. Got bumped out of the top five position. Now starting things off on the first tube. 50-50. Front side 180 switch. 50-50 on that tube. Now coming in to the shark fin. Cap 360. Nice. Lacing it into the first jump. Starting it off with a switch backside rotation. Switch backside five. Going oh, big. Yard. Missing out on the grab unfortunately. But stomping it. Into the backside, 720, whips it around, putting it down. Coming into the final booter. Frontside 7 with the Indy Grab. Oh, oh little yeah, revert. <laughs> She's holding, holding on to on. it a little bit. That's definitely going nice to be deducted by the judges, unfortunately, but still keeps it rolling. 50 50 front 180 out on the rainbow rail. All right. Great run. She tried a her best. A little mishap on that, that revert, but yeah. great run otherwise. And I think she was also looking for a front 780 on switch backside 360 out, if I'm not mistaken, because I saw her in practice. That's a heavy, which heavy is trick. Very heavy, actually. Yeah, she was putting it together there with the 5-7-7 the yeah. seven, seven combo, but here we see her just not quite able to put that toe edge in uh, and stop the rotation. You know what? They might not deduct her as much, but I do not think it will touch our... Our top three. No, I don't think so either. That is, that is pretty set in stone. For sure. Here we go. Yeah. Improving a little bit with a 48.4. Staying in sixth position. Which is still a nice place to be in for sure. Yeah, great result. Great riding for Van Brandon Romy. All right. Romy Van Brandon, sorry. Romy. Next up, who do we have in the star gate? Arian Buri. I'm going to take this one away. You t take it away. Arian Buri definitely has room for improvement. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's got a, she's got a hammer run, too, that yeah. she's, she's waiting to show us. Once again, i got to say, she is coming back from an injury, so comeback season for her. Here we go. She is a boss lady from the Swiss team, starting it off with a front board. Perfectly oh, so locked in. Nice. So consistent on that one. Probably even a better frumper than I have it. And the Crippler once again putting it down. Perfect. Very nicely done. Coming into that first jump. Going frontside underflip once again. 
Nicely yep. done. Super controlled. Now into jump number two. Go and cab. There cab 540. Absolutely oh. huge, but no. Two yard. Arian Bori going too big oh, on the cab no. five. And that's going to be it for Arian. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Wow, for that her. was looking very nice, too. Yeah, I mean, super Everything's solid so on that clean. takeoff. But and then, unfortunately for Arian, just going a little too deep right there. Oh, uh, the landing, the landings are tough right now, yeah. too. Yeah, and be. I mean, soft landings are nice, but yeah. going deep on a soft landing, it is so hard to hold in. on to that and one. And hey, bad respect for that front board, like you said at the top. Front that board is, is locked really in. Nice. And I'm, I'm not joking. I am very bad at front boards. <laughs> I'm way better at switch front boards. So what? Yeah, I don't know. It's probably hey, a it's thing. not a bad thing to be better. No, at. It's, it's not a bad thing for sure, but I think it's because I just do switch front boards all the time, and I hate doing front boards. <laughs> I don't know why, but oh, Arian Buri doing a little striptease action right there. <laughs> um, okay, let's go back to the top for our current leader, current leader. the veteran in the star. Miyabi. great, great show in from Arian too. Nice to see your back shredding. Oh yeah, shout out to you, Arian. And yeah, Miyabi Anatsuki, our current leader, like you said. Yeah, man. With that pretty and I mean, score. She is chilling up there with a 90.8. Yeah, she's like sitting on a nice couch, but she's going to try to step it up for us because the I Japanese so. do not chill. No, they do they not chill. On, they want to be better every run. Switch from blunt, same way. Not as good as her last one, but she's got Still five more roll. features, maybe even six. Switch back three into nice. our jump line. What's it going to be for Miyabi starting it off? Cab side 900 with the Stealthfish. Smooth and stylish. She's tucking. What does she have for us here? A front side 1080. Going for it again. Melon grab. Oh! Too large. A little bit of an ass blaster landing right that there. That was a heavy landing. But on once the again. Bottom. Hopefully she's all good. In a, situation, in a situation like this, you're kind of glad that the landing is slushy. Oh, you're stoked. I mean, it's yeah, it's a lifesaver right there, kind of like an airbag. Well, yeah. well, not like an well, airbag, not, of not course. Quite, but it, but it, <laughs> is, it is way, way better to land on your on your badongas if the landing that. is slushy compared to a firm landing. So you know what? Also, too, she was she wasn't chill in the first place. As we have some shredder ladies coming up. Oh know? yeah. So it's for good sure. that she went for it. I'm stoked she did. You always gotta try. Oh, luckily oh, she got yeah. her board down first, yeah, I think. For sure. But yeah, incredible riding from our current leader, Miyabi. I mean, showing off that she is the most experienced rider in the field today. Yep. Pretty comfortable right now with that 90.8 for sure. Next up, I think we only have couple more girls we have three more girls if i'm not mistaken one two three yes three more girls to drop one of them evie pop from belgium currently sitting in second place and you know trying to get that score higher I mean, she wants that first place and i know for a fact that she has a crazy trick in her bag i don't know if we're gonna see that Ooh, trick today because she, with? she has an insane double that Probably nobody's doing in a competition. Starting it off, switch blunt, two out into the switch backside 360 on the shark fin. Coming up on the jump line, starting things off. Going for the yeah, cab 900. 900, putting it down, okay. Upping that difficulty. Going for the backside 720 on jump number two, lacing nice it. Okay, already improving on her jump line. Now one more jump to go, going front side again. Get there. Front side wow. seven. All right, Great Evie Pop from Poppy. means business. Going into the quarter, going for a nice little lean. lean. there for the skaters. Skater style. 50. Oh, no! Evie! Oh, the heartbreaker section. We talked about it so many times. Oh. It's the moneymaker or the heartbreaker. <laughs> and right now, go. it has been the that heartbreaker. That is so unfortunate for Evie as she was on a heater of a run. I mean, that cab nine, she stepped it up on that first one. So good. And then keeping that speed alive with the back seven. I love and the, the front seven here, too. Dude, the front seven is so consistent. Wow. Crazy good jump line. But, <sighs> yeah, the heartbreaker section, as we can see. Oh, my gosh. It was so close. Ah. Uh, that is heavy, heavy, heavy. Gonna stick with that 67. 
Um, second place. For, Will it hold? For Chat, now. Let for us now. know. Will it hold? Yeah, what give us give us more predictions for the final results for the ladies as well. Next up, Melissa Pepperkamp from the Netherlands, the Dutch, the Deutsch, the Dutch coming in clutch. Maybe. Let's stay tuned. They have some shredders coming from the Dutch. I mean, yeah, the the dome shredders. The they're dome. they're killing the it for sure. Getting those rail tricks dialed in. Melissa Pepperkamp coming in to this first rail section. Blunt wow. same way. Wow. Perf perfect. Really perfectly Took locked in. Took it the harder rail selection to ever we've seen. Sorry, that was switch blunt same way into the switch back one. Much better start for this for this run here. Back seven. Huge. Boom. A little double grab kind of. She misses the start. For Went it. back in there. Here with that front nine. Oh, Gets it putting again. it down. It Come on. Will she go cab nine? Into that cab. She's trying it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Melissa Pepperkamp <laughs> holding it. on to these landings and making it happen right now. Come Coming on. Coming into this quarter. Nice front side air. Only one more feature. 50-50. Front one Let's out. Let's go. Melissa wow. Pepperkamp she is putting responded. it down. Boom, boom, boom. Two nines. Wow. Back to back. And I think she hasn't done these nines and a better rail. in a long time. And she cleaned up that rail section, as you said. Only takeaways here on this run is the missed grabs. Yeah. Unfortunately, Melissa not holding her grab as long as she'd like to, but still stepping up the spin count. And you I know mean, the that is nice to see. And she putting it, she's putting it down, like adding spins, putting them down. That's, in my opinion, that's gonna be an improvement. Oh yeah, I agree. I think that's gonna put her up into the podium position, but. The final say is always with the judges. With the seats, the men and the women at the top seats. Oh, yeah. 71. Oh, 80. into second place. A statement score. For wow. Melissa. Unfortunately, bumping our... Yeah, Xiong Shirui from China is now out of the podium, podium. position. And now the last... Lady to drop for her second run. The closer. I mean, yet to put down a run. So everything is open. Melissa Pepperkamp is guaranteed a podium spot. Miyabi Onitsuka is guaranteed a podium spot. But will Evie Pop stay on the podium or is Mari Fukada going to come in clutch? Boom. Switch front blunt 270 wow. out. Perfectly locked in on that one. Coming into the shark fin. Switch back at 540. Perfect. Perfect. Through that top section. So Coming perfect. in. First jump. Is she able to put it down? Backside 900. Putting oh, it down. Wow. So okay. So clean for Mari. Perfectly done on that first jump. Coming into jump number two. Going cab double. Oh, she cooking. Cab double nine. Let her cook. She's oh, holding she's on to it. On. Coming in. Going front side. Front 720. Front side seven with the tail grab. Putting it down Great perfectly. Play on her part. Oh, my goodness. Holding on she to that cab double. She is cooking with butter right now. Whoa, the front three! <laughs> <laughs> Coming into this last feature, no speed! Oh, oh my gosh, my okay. Goodness. This is... This is a tough position. Oh. As... I don't want to be a judge right now. <laughs> oh my wow, goodness. Wow, dude. Everything was perfect until the heartbreaker section. I mean, we so can talk good. about that landing on the cap double nine. Maybe we get a nice little look at it. That well, back like, nine, perfection. Perfection. Cap here's double. Her, here's her landing. Thank you. I mean, oh, oh she was in that tail Great. manual. Great. Holding her grabs the whole way. And then the front three, which we haven't seen a girl do, comes up a bit oh. short, but holds on. And then trying to clear that rail, just coming off a little bit early, maybe half a meter early. Will it be enough to crack our podium? Oh, my goodness. This is... Oh. This is going to be very tough, actually. This is as they have. I mean, I never oh, want to be a judge, but I haven't been in this position right now. I really, really don't want to be a judge right now. Yeah. Because it all comes down to this. The final rider. And she did it, she ladies and it. gentlemen. Second place. We have a double Japanese pole position. 
Wow. Miyabi Onitsuka in pole position, Marie Fukada in second, and Melissa Peppercom taking home third place. Wow. Final standings. Oh my god, I am mind blown right now. I'm, I am mind blown too. They didn't just sneak her in there. They no, put her, they up, put her there. up there with a super solid score, I mean, actually. I believe that's a good rewarding because she did hold her grab. She really yeah. worked. She, up until that last feature, she was, she was clean. shredding. She was clean. She was boarding for sure. Bumping Evie Poppy down yeah. by one spot. Into the bubble podium wow. position. Ah, that's unfortunate wow. for Evie Pop, but I mean Insane I'm Insane riding from these ladies. Shout out to all the ladies. Y'all killed Incredible. it. Y'all entertained us. And that's what it's all about. Incredible. The the level is just progressing so fast. And we're so good to in see. a Euro Cup right now. This yeah. is not a World Cup, so insane. Insane riding for the ladies, and now we're gonna switch it over to the boys. And first up, we have Big Demmer. Canadian Keenan Demchek. He's bumping up to the top. He's probably got some Beyonce in or something. Oh, Beyonce, um, homie is homie is Beyonce cooked. Keenan Demchuk, Canadian big dog from there the Schmob, from the Worcester Valley Snowboard Club, best snowboard club in the world. I'm claiming it. Coming in All for right. a second round here. Heard it here first. Most creative rail line for sure. With this back disaster, Swivel holds on with the cap three out. Not the cleanest, but it's a full oh, run. Okay, Front okay. same way. Keep on it. Keep on it. Here we go with that back roadie tail. So big and so beautiful. Boom, and puts it down. No problemo. Keenan coming into this bottom section. Cab nine, nose, tail. Getting it done Perfect. right there. Got that finesse on the landing. You know Joe Mercado has been teaching him that. Backside, 1260. Come on, boy. There we go. Yes. That's the one he wanted. What does he have for this bottom section? Switch. Switch. Back. Double rodeo. Oh. oh. Keenan. Oh, my goodness. Keenan. Keenan Has he ever done that? Has he ever done that? I think so. I don't know. That He's was done back that, double that's rodeo. That's the thing he was talking to you about. Uh, that's what he told me he was going to cook. He is cooking, my man. Oh, my goodness. Holy. Keenan. He's keeping Randy at home right now. Is Oh my gosh. standing. I mean, surprises left and oh right. Oh my goodness. Keenan was it on off. a hammer of a run to creativeness to the roof on that top section. Cab nine with the double grab. No to tail. Oh, Back man. 12. Perfect this time. Great spot. Dude, switch double Look at this. Did he try to go 10? No, he didn't. He just went to the moon. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, Keenan had it. Holy smokers. Oh, great showing from the young Canadian. Dude. Great riding this some, week, Demmer. Let's have some Canadian flags in the chat. Yeah. Let them rip right now. Canada is out here killing it. Wow. And next up, Jeremy Denda. At one point, our current leader for about oh yeah, a good half an hour there. He was holding oh, yeah. on. Currently still in the top 10, Jeremy Denda uh. sitting in seventh place with a 65. Now looking to clean things up. No! Denda. Denda. Ugh. Not going to be able to top. The dream is done for now. But he still has the chance to grab the Swiss championship title. He is the current Swiss leader. He is currently the best Swiss man out there. Let's see what he gives us here at the bottom. Can we get a little backside air? Hey. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'm not going to lie. You're never going to catch me doing a method unless I learn how to do them soon because I am terrible at them. Yeah, same here, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Dude, it's it's probably one of the easiest but hardest tricks at the same time. Yeah. It's just a straight air, but have the making, making them look good is Ooh. so hard, man. Carving it out. Great Jeremy performance Denda, from I mean, Jeremy this week, this whole entire dude, yeah. this month, dude, this year. This year has been a good one for Jeremy yeah. for sure. All right. He's bombed, which is fair. Uh, it's a yeah, hard. like just coming off a little early right there, maybe even catching his heel edge on that back one, cab three, trying to go for that back set air as we talked about it. One of the hardest straight airs to do. Yeah. Tough break for Jeremy. Jeremy. For sure. But uh, yeah, Staying, still in seventh. Yeah. Great position, great result. Top ten for now, for sure. But as we said, in the first run already, there has been some riders yet to put something down. That's so the true. pressure cooker is doing his work right now. Yuto Miyamura. The kid from Japan. One of them, actually. One of the kids from Japan. That's a great great point. Coming in for his second round as he fell on the cab 14 in his first round. 
Here we go. This first feature. Front one, cab one. Front blood, Boom. same way. Boom. Locked Perfect. in. Maybe this is a cab nine. This is a cab nine nose. So perfect. I love the way he grabs the nose and whips it around. It's so beautiful. Into this front side, 1440. Go there we go. Big. That's the way. Oh, my God. Stomped. Gets caught in the slough, but it does not matter oh for the kid. Back 12. Like it's nothing. Bolts. Switch back Switch side. Back oh. Yes, you toe. Okay. Coming together with a huge run right now. Cooking into this bottom section with that crippler. Come on, boy. Front blunt, same way. Yes, putting Uto. it down. Let's go, my dog. That was a that was an incredible run from top to bottom. We love to see him get that front fourteen. And I mean, also the pressure was cooking for him because he went down on that first jump that in was run a number great one. Run, dude. Yeah, and that he, was he was locked and loaded for that second run. He was dialed in, focused. And I thought for a second he went too big once again on that first one, but putting it down like it is nothing. I think that's top three. Personally, I'm, yet again, I am not a judge, and I'm the be. farthest thing from a judge, but that was an incredible run from the kid from Japan. Could possibly be a top three position. Yeah, it's a full pull. But we cannot forget about Rocco and Roma, the lettuce man, who are in fourth and fifth, who also put down a very nice run so maybe it's gonna be enough for a top five position it's true this Not is a sure. pretty heavy top five field but, but I mean honestly Yuto can be hyped on that run coming back from this run number one mistake on that first jump and putting it down lacing his run I mean wow we just Whip. freaking it killing it right there getting it going all Time right watch Next up, I'm not quite sure who we are going to have. Let's see. A dog. It's going to be a dog for sure. A Definitely a, a dog ready to bark and eat. I mean, the current standing Scores is pretty are, interesting. Scores are, are slow here. As yeah. The judges I mean, understand they have a I mean, tough it's position. Heavy. Here we right go. Here. Oh. 81.40. Into fourth place. Into fourth place. Great score. Great showing. Again, the hardest position to get, but an incredible position. And he's stoked. Incredibly. Great ride in Uto. And next up, we have Leon Gutel. Bavarian. Coming in hot right now. So a little bit of a different approach in the first round. But exactly. He kind of took it a little bit mellow. We are not quite sure. Maybe he took a little bail in that first oh, round. Oh, this is so good. Switch from for Pretzel with the street cred. So perfect. Coming in super hot. The Michael, Sorry, Michael Chucker Chuck. now into jump number one. Will he excel? Okay, I think he's just taking a chill pill right now. Back five still. Beautiful. Just th This is once again a run for the soul for the viewers at home. Switch backs at five. Beautiful. Can we get a little frontside cork three action? Frontside seven with the melon. Nicely done. Just putting something down today. Into frontside stale fish. Nice Perfect. and tweaked. Front blunt 270 out. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing that Leon maybe took a little bit of a beating in practice before finals. So taking it easy in both of his final runs, which is totally respectable. You don't want to go in to a final with a course like this and sending it when you not feel 100%. Yeah. I mean, there's so much that can go wrong on huge jumps and also on a quarter pipe and technical rails like these are. So improving his score a little bit, 36.6, still sitting in 11th place, just outside of that top 10. And next up, we have a Kiwi coming in. From down under, Lion Farrell. And this is going to be interesting to see because Homie was he a little little too cooked on uh, that first yeah, had one. an unfortunate mistake. Or not mistake, just... Knock on wood. Bobble last run. Here he comes, Lion Farrell, up in the schmob mask. Coming in. From New Zealand. Front two, same way. Bolts. Right Come on, Lion. 
Light on his Fixes feet. Fixes the mistake. This run, perfect switchback five. Nice. Great top section from Lion Farrell. Coming in. Here we go with that backside. Four, 16, double oh, nose. No, no way. Lion. Oh, that is so unfortunate right there. Oh, man. Unable to get the 16 double nose this run, but... Oh, man. He was on a heater, too, with that top section. Oh, what there a we nice go. backside there. Thank that you, Lion. That is a beautiful method. Appreciate the style. Oh, Lion is... He is such a shredder, such a boarder. Check out his POVs on YouTube. Oh, yeah, for sure. Some great Very POVs. Very will actually help you learn tricks if, you, uh, if you're you trying to for find sure. some spot. But, yeah, unfortunate getting caught in the slough there for Lion. Oh, that is a tough one. But I believe he still has the big air competition coming up if he's going to stay for it, for sure. Yeah. And in and my that opinion, is a big air trick. Homie is definitely excelling oh. in the big air department. Yeah. He also has the backside 18 double nose, so definitely somebody to watch out for in the bigger competition. Yeah, 100%. Well, unfortunate is going to stay in this 10th position. Not going to improve. And next up, someone who still has a title to claim. Alex Lotordo. Your boy. Lotti. Latorto. Will I he be Laroto. Laroto. I like that actually. Laroto. It's, it's bad though. I need to yeah. stop. Let it's all right. It's all right. You can call him whatever you want. <laughs> He's the Alex. Dog. Absolute border. Take it away. Coming in switch for this first rail. Starting things off. Cap 270 on. 270 out. Through whipping it around. Uh. On the donkey rail. Coming in to the side hit. Off the toes. Front side five with the indie nose bone. Speed checking went humongous on that first hit last time. Going switch back side 1260. Looks like he's dialed in. Switch back Locks 12. It down. Come on, boy. Will it be enough to give him the Swiss champion title? Backside 12. Oh, putting it down. Putting it down. Oh, my Roto. gosh. Coming in. Cap 14. He's doing it. Oh, yeah. putting it down. Oh, oh my goodness. Perfect. Alex Cap on a 14. Heater. Coming into the QP, cap 360, keeping it a little bit more mellow. Now just one more rail. Oh, Rock for 270, wow. Alex Latorto, my boy, I believe. First Switzerland, he didn't even want to stop. Gonna take it home right now. Wow, this is a tight race for the, oh, yeah, for the Swiss, Swiss Championship. Captain to the kink, only guy doing and honestly, that trick today. And that is honestly, maybe there's even room for... The top five position. I, I don't know. I, can see it. I mean, that cap that 14. Great run. Perfectly stomped. Back 12. Great perfect takeoff on the cap 14. I honestly thought he might have gone too corked, as you can see there. Yeah, it was crazy on that axis, but putting it down perfect. Wait, was, that was a 14, right? Was that an 18? It was a 14. That was a 14. Was a 14. Oh, and he actually little, went back tail. Little hand tap. Out. There you see the Swiss gang chilling, Hanging. waiting for their scores. Who's going to be reigned the Swiss champ? Who's it's getting gonna the Instagram be interesting. bio? Oh, yeah. Who's going to get the street crat in Switzerland? <laughs> able to claim the Swiss champion title. And there's also another Swiss champion title up for grabs in the big air. So a couple still, Swiss champs. Still a lot of things open. Boy, showing some love. You love okay. to see it. I think Jeremy, this will probably top the... The top, the top ten at least. I think so too. Oh yeah, for sure, not for a doubt. For sure, the top ten. And I because we have Lion Farrell currently sitting in the tenth position with two not so laced runs, unfortunately for him. There we got Evan Wobble throwing snowballs at kids. Evan just having a good time. And into 74. seventh place. And ladies and gentlemen. Alex Latorto officially Swiss champ. is the Swiss champion in slope style and also cracking into the top 10 position. Congratulations. Nicely to done, man. Alex, great riding. Hell yeah, great for riding. sure. Both those boys. Yeah. We love Swiss. Here we go. Next up Swiss from teams. Japan. I'm going to let you take over here, JJ. Hiroaki Kunitaki starting it off. 360 oh, on. Cap 360 on, 180 out, into the 50-50 front side. Oh, pardon me, backside board slide, perfect. 270 out. Nicely done through the double king into the backside. Wow. <laughs> backside 1260 on the shark Are fin. Whipping it around like it is nothing. Coming in cab. Cab 14. Perfect, perfect landing with the weddle to tail. Rookie is locked in. Getting caught in the slough a little bit. Switch backside Switch 900. Back nine. 
keeping it alive. Coming up on that last jump, the money booter going frontside triple. Oh, frontside triple. No. Oh, it broke. Not able to put no. it down. He is such a good rider. X oh Games medal God. this year from Hiroki. Oh, true. Yeah, true. he, I is, a, about he that. is a border and a half. For Unfortunate sure. Unfortunate on that front triple. That's his, his money bag right there, as you know. He's got the quad, too. Actually crazy to think about oh, that. Oh, man. Frontside quad, probably the hardest trick out there. Oh, yeah. Moment. I'm going to claim it. Oh, uh, yeah, you can claim that all day. For sure. Switch back around. I think he may have got caught a bit in the slough before this Most back. likely. And here you see the frontside triple. Mm. Oh, I mean... A bit short. That trick, you've also had some battles with that trick. Oh, yeah. Me as well. I mean, it's a hard it is trick. such a fine a line. Cool trick. Not going to be perfect on, on the that. 13th place for Hiroki, unfortunately. Staying in that 13th place. Unfortunate for Hiroaki, but next up we have a heater for you. We got Joe Bang. Yeah, me. Frank Jobin, the tank from Stoneham, Quebec. And now the question is, will he stick to his run that he tried Coming in the in. first run, or is he going to step it up? Here we go on this first feature with that nose press front one. So pressed. Switchboard switch oh! up. Perfect. Oh, my goodness, Brian. Wow. Stunning. Locked and Cat loaded. Cat 5 melon. Perfection. Be perfect top section. Coming into this first jump. Backside, 1260 with the roast beef. No oh. way! Oh, I wanted to see that oh second my jump. Goodness. Un so unfortunate. Damn. For my fellow teammate Frank. Oh my goodness, he was having a run after that top section too. Getting caught in that snuff. Is, is, I mean, the, the slush snakes are out there, and they're they're not holding back. They're biting. No, they are biting heavy. As soon as they get the chance, they're snapping at them <laughs> borders. Oh, that is. Very unfortunate for Frank. Indeed. Oh, boy. Frank Jobin. Definitely not very friendly on that slush landing, but that, that's second that rail. That second rail is so wow. good. And also the grab on that back 12. I don't see that many oh. riders do that grab. Grabbing in between his legs on the heel edge. No, neither do I. The chicken salad or roast beef. I don't oh, know. Oh, Frank. Mm. Incredible. One of Canada's top riders. One of my favorite riders. For sure. Stay tuned for more of Frank. A rail wizard and jump expert. Oh, for sure. Alright. Next up, let's take a look at the start gate. We're going to have the ATV from New Zealand. Cam Melville Ives already took home the dub in U the European Cup halfpipe oh, event locked in too. on Monday. I mean... Homie is always locked in. Starting his shred right now. Coming into this down rail. Starting it off 270 on, 270 out the hard way. Coming in to the side hit. Going hard way. Cap 5. <laughs> boom. Stomping Massive. it. Into the backside rotation on jump number 1. Backside 1260. Going huge again. Putting it. Oh, oh! Campbell, come on, boy. He's not done yet, though. Keep it going. Is he going to go for something back big right there? Will he go switch back 16 on him? Like we said you never give up. Switch back side 12. Boom, yep. with ease right Holding there. On. Just trying to improve his rank right now. Into the, the front, front side. Oh, oh, goodness, that's the thing dude. of beauty right there. So perfect. Lip 270. And I believe... He's gonna improve his score yeah. because he is currently sitting in 18th place. So, last place for now with a 15.2. But probably. Definitely gonna bump up. Gonna bump himself up. A little unfortunate. And that actually was a wise move because we talked about it before. Most of these guys that are not from Europe out here, they're hunting for the points. Yeah. And he is definitely not willing to give up just because he went down on that first jump. Cam, definitely a warrior. Homie is ripping. And I actually had the chance to do a little live stream with him in the Euro Cup in Locks. Oh, yeah? Had a blast with him Sick. in there for sure. It was a good time. And yes, improving a little bit. Cracking into the top 15 position. Bumping 
down Sam Vermaat onto place number 15. And next up, from Germany, Mr. Leon Fockensberger. The German Bavarian. I went to the Bavarian Museum in Germany, in Munich, with Darcy. It was, it was an incredible time. I nice. suggested actually. It's some really cool knowledge in there. Cool knowledge and most likely some very good beer. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, uh, I didn't tap in that night, unfortunately, all right, all but right. I, I heard it's incredible. Front two, same way. Getting a little caught up, but holding on. Switch blunt. Getting same through way, it way this better time. this time for Leon. Nice. Already a cleaner top section into that cab seven tail. Looking right, for the tail switch nose, whatever you want to say. Coming into our jump line. Here we go, Leon. Switch back side 12. Boom. Putting it down. All day for the guy. Is he going to go 14 on this one? Front yes, side. 1440. Oh, oh, come on, boy. The landings out here are tough for all these oh. competitors. Man, oh, man. Leon knew he needed the front 14, though, so I'm stoked to see him go for it. The pressure cooker is doing his thing right now, oh, and unfortunately, yeah. Leon is not able to hold on to the pressure or actually holding on to the heavy landings uh, right there. Ah, oh, that is so unfortunate for him. Great riding this season, though, from Leon. Yeah, for sure. Homie is always having a smile when he's boarding. Yeah, he's always That's for cooking. sure. Uh, unfortunate. Getting oh, yeah, way better well I mean, that that double kick getting through all the way. Oh, he was looking for that tail grab, but getting it in the end, stomping the switch back 12. And the front 14 was looking so crispy in the air. And just not able to get that toe edge in. Oh, such a bummer for Leon. A little extra flavor at the end right there on the 270 out with the butter back one. Gonna Not stick going to improve the score. Stick with that 60.8. And next up we have another Japanese ripper. Kira Kimura. Kira Kimura. Getting it done. In run number one. Already putting down a solid score. But definitely looking to improve. Here we go. Starting it off. On the flat rail, 50-50, front of 180 out, coming in switch, switch blunt, 270 out. Better this time, still a tad bit early, but... A little bit early still, but putting it down into oh! the cab double on... Um, I love it. Wow. Stomping it. Going front side. 1440, perfect. <laughs> wow, that axis is so nice. Tucking for speed. Into backside. Backside, back 16. 16. Oh, oh holding on to the landing. Come on, boy. Come through. Go and switch. Backside triple. Oh, oh my God. He is Kira. on. Come on, boy. Put it down. Crippler. Heartbreaker section. Here we go. Or moneymaker section. Front two. Same two way. 270 out. Holding Kira on to it. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Holy smokes. We are stoked. Dude, I didn't see that switch triple coming. I didn't, dude, I didn't think any speed. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Kira, what a run. Lacing that top section. I think our biggest jump run of the day, 14, 16, 16. That was insane, bro, for sure. Wow, Kira. Perfect front 14. And then right there on the back 16, putting that toe edge to work and losing a little bit of speed, but then just look Snapping, at the snap dude. on that. Whoa. Insane. Crippler. Maybe missing out on the grab a little bit, but then 270 on, 270 out on the rainbow. Just finishing and it off. And he is pumped on that one. I mean, I love his it. He's always stoked. Deserves it so much right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that's going top three. In my opinion, that that has to be Trizzle. top three. <laughs> but uh, oh we're not God. the judges. No, I mean I. Like the longer said, this like comp times, goes, I I don't want to be a judge. Yeah. No matter what, it's it's. It's, it's hard and crazy, man. It's hard out here for the... Holy moly. Kira Kimura absolutely lacing his run, excelling on the jump plan, Shkee! putting in <laughs> two 1620s. Definitely going to move up the leaderboard. What do we right think, there. chat? Chat, top give three. us a prediction. Is this First, a top second, three run? Third. Let us know. Get some W's in the chat. <laughs> Please and thank you. Japanese flags and W's are welcomed in the chat, man. We like to see it. We like to interact. Yes, sir. 
Let's talk Borden. Okay. Here we go. Into first, Into first place. place. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And you, know what, you know what? That's that's going to be. I'm uh, hyped for Cure. Going to start a fire in somebody's heart right oh, yeah. now. Oh, yeah. It's going to be hectic from now on. Kira Kimura bumping Jake Cantor off that first place. Wow. I kind of thought it might go up there, but I didn't want to say it. I know? mean, didn't want to give it the jinx. Judges rewarded him. Here we go. And now we have the rock star from New Zealand, Rocco Jameson, is here to play. And he oh, is here the for the money. Oh, the drip back one. Started off. Come out. Here we go. Cab two, same way. Boom. S Bolts. With, the, with a little finesse on that landing. With that, Michael Chuck, late front one. I love that. I love that so much. Thank you, Rocco. Coming Getting into this first jump. Creative on that top section. Switch back 12. Boom. Laced. Tad bit tail heavy, but that ain't no thing because he held on. Back 16. Back 14, sorry. Indy. Holding on to the landing. Here Come on, go. Rocco. Come into our money, Budo. Give us what we want to see, Rocco. Front side. <laughs> 1800! Oh Holy smokes! God. Rocco! What? Wow! Front crippler scale. Hold it together, so boys! Nice. Come on, Rocco. Front two, four. Oh, holy. shit! Holy, 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 holy. Holy moly! Holy, holy, holy moly. Rocco James. Oh my goodness. Soft cure, Kamara, go lace a perfect run and say, hey. Watch me. I'm going to do the same. <laughs> but this time, I'm going to add a front 1800. First 1800 of the day. And wow. we are not in a big air competition. This is slope style, ladies and gentlemen. Just getting that tail grab and wrapping it around. Holy moly. 270 on, 450 I, out. I can't believe this is a Europa Cup. Dude, it's Euro Cup, man. So I just forgot that we were here. I we, thought we were in the World Cup. I thought it was last week in Corvatch, but... We just saw an 1800 in a Euro Cup slope-style wow. event. Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. The level of riding what? is insane. Well, they screw him. The Here's where we don't know. Top three. I mean, let's be a little bit real right now. The landing of the 18, we didn't, hand drag. we didn't get the closest look at it, but a little bit of a hand drag. A little slap. And at the end of the day, the judges, they are looking for the mistakes. Oh, they're picking up on every little thing, oh, yeah. as you That's know. That's their job. That's what they yeah. have to do. And Kira Kimura was pretty much perfect on all of the jumps. So there's probably the biggest difference in those two runs that we just saw. But will it be enough for a podium position. In my opinion, definitely podium worthy. I think that's getting up there into the podium. For sure. He's looking. All right. This is going to be taking a little while, I reckon. I mean, first 1,800 of the day. First 1,800 on this slope. No, not the first 1,800, actually. I think we saw Taiga Hasegawa go for an 1,800 in the World Cup. Yes, oh, yeah, in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. His went, run was insane. Went nuts on the jump line for sure. Yeah. And now Rocco stepping up with the front side 18. I thought he was going to go for the 18, but I was we, not we sure. Knew it. And we then, knew it. And then I was like, okay, yeah, he's going to go we for it. We didn't want to call sure. it, but no. we knew Rocco wanted it. Oh, that. my God. Into, okay, into fourth oh. place. The judges are being oh, rough on this one. Oh, man. Point four behind Hiroto. Damn. Oh, what a great performance from Rocco. Damn. Like we said, Zero the hardest but four. great position for Rocco Jamerson. The the young Kiwi rider has I so mean, much. He's so much coming riding. up. He's so young still. So young and such a shredder. And this guy is also pretty young still. Oivin Kirkus from Norway. Back to 180 on. Coming out switch. That's into sick. the switch blunt. 270 uh, out. Locking in. Let's go, sliding Ivan. through the whole rail. Going oh! switch back rodeo. That's how you pop, folks. Oh, my goodness. Watch and learn. Oivin is showing you how to put things down into the backside 1260. And I believe Oivin definitely is going to step it up right here. Is he going to go switch back 16? Switch back 12. Triple. Oh, boom. So Stomping it. No problem. What do we got here? Into Front the double. Off the to toes. To the bottom. I mean, come on. So good. Double Todio. And now what's it going to be in the pipe? Huge wow, front so big. seven. Coming into the end for us. Switch front blunt, 450 oh, out. Oh, another heater. Whoa, and whoa, he's whoa. golfing out there. He's putting it out. He just hit us with a baseball celebration. Oh, yeah. Oivin Kirkus wow. came to play, Hello. folks. 
Back to 180 on, coming out switch, locking in. That was an incredible run from Oyvind. Dude, wow. I mean, all the way through. And also the creativity that comes with this run. Two oh, rodeo so axes, creative. 1260, and a triple 12, which oh. is so nice to see. So cool. And that double Toteo to the middle of the landing, lacing it. And also pretty decent pipe rider, actually. I have to say, Oyvin is putting in that pipe work. Oh, he's an incredible pipe rider. Look Check at me that. out. I'm Aaron Judge from the Yankees. I'm going to hit this yeah, ball yeah. out the stadium. Home I have never run. seen that one before, but I'm here for it. That was a nice one. I like that. Claiming it for oh, sure. Home run ball. I'm going to be interested to see if that's going to be... Where does this put him? I think it should be an improvement in my eyes because he came off a little bit early on that last rail in the first run and definitely cleared it a little bit better in this second run. But once again, pressure is cooking right now. Oh, yeah. These boys are, are locked in. How many riders do we have left here? We have one... Two, three, four, five. Five riders to go. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be insane up until that last rider. Make sure you stay locked and tuned in at your screens at home. And 90. It, wow. That's actually... Wait. That's not fifth place. That's not fifth Into place. Into second place. Into second place. Or even. Holy moly. Wow. Or Honestly... Even such a incredible run and a great score. Well deserved for Oyvind. Very much well deserved. In the second run, putting the pressure on Hiroto Aragara. I just totally cooked his ass. Yeah, yeah you did. Holy, <laughs> that was, I, that was Hiroto a, Ogiwara. I, I'm not even going to try again. I, I'm <laughs> it's bad all right. with my R's. But. And this guy also, I mean, he's got bumped down to place number seven. This is incredible right now. Romain Alamon from France. Had an incredible season so far with his first World Cup podium. And Homie also has... Homie can cook. Homie can cook very much. Oh, yeah. Not only the lettuce, but also can cook with the meat. Here we go. <laughs> Starting it off. Cab, Cab one, one on. front three. Nose grab. Mm. Mm. Laced. Out of that nose grab for extra spice to ask the judges for more points. With that back rodeo five off the of hype. I love it. All right. Great all right. Top all right. Section. Great top section from lettuce. Romaine. Here into that switchback 16. So good. Wow. Romain. I'm impressed already. Such a good border. I'm super impressed with this riding lately. Coming in with that backside 1080. And I think he's setting up for something big right now. I think now. we're about to see the money booter. Coming in. Oh. oh. Final 18. Oh. oh. <laughs> I think that's the world's Romain. first actually. Final world's first bloody 118. Dracula. Bloody. Wow. Bloody hell, man. Selfish. <sighs> wow. Front, Front two, 450, Romain. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a run from Romain. And this is a Euro Cup. This is a this Euro is Cup, This is a Euro folks. Cup. Can you believe it right now? This is wow, insanity. Wow, dude. I am mind blown. World's first in a Euro Cup. World's first Front Set 18, Bloody Dracula. Wow. Can we please get a replay on that Front 18 with the Bloody Dracula? Even with the early takeoff? Yeah, like, for a second the there was like, that's like, not going to no work. Way. But, but this, he, guy, this guy can board, folks. He wrapped it. I mean, the back, 10, 10. the back 10 was a little bit more mellow, but that front 18. Look at the grab. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and my goodness. Sneaking it around. Stomps it. And honestly, I think the slushy landing helped him it may to actually have. Yeah. To land that one. Front 2-4. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I am shaking right now. Judges are fast. Not going to top his first one All position. Right. Um, Landing was not great. Great riding enough. from Romain. Keep an eye out for this kid because he can shred. He can, sure. he can shred. I mean, he can shred for sure. Putting down a world's first in a Euro Cup final. Next up, Sam Vermaat from the Netherlands. The Dutchman also came to play, and Homie still has a lot to say. Starting things off, switch back tail 270 Very out. Very nice. Coming in to. The shark fin cap double, double nine. Very nicely done. Into the first jump. Probably going to go for the backside 1260. Boom. Perfect. Great. Even though the slush putting it down perfect. Will we see switchback 16? Switchback, switchback 12. 12. All right. Clean. Better access that run for sure. Very nicely done now. Front side. Front side 1440. Tail. Perfect. Boom. Oh, my god. Almost perfect. Sorry. I mean, I told you, Incredible. that front double 14, homie has it he on has lock. It dialed. Huge Landing it. Air. 
Now one more rail to go. Cap oh, to on four. Out. Out. Oh wow! He's got something to say. He wow. was like, I mean, y'all are killing it, but hello, I'm here. Yeah, he's like, I check want, me I out. Want, I want a piece of that cake. Yeah, I want to come hang. I want some Where he belongs. Right oh, yeah, I mean, that for was sure. an incredible run from Sam Bermat. 12, 12, 14. Putting it down pretty much perfect. Both 12s were perfect. Incredible. I don't know if it's going to top, touch our top three just due to the fact that we've seen some insane runs today. Exactly. But, I mean, he had the front seven on the quarter pipe as well and the 270 on 450 out. He's definitely going to improve on his score, that for is for sure. For sure. 100%. But where are the judges going to put Great him? Great riding, Sam. And honestly, I mean, Jay Cantor laced one up in that first run, and he got bumped down all the way to third place. He's got and some heat on him. I mean, he is going to be fired up to put something down in that last run. Yeah. Great run. Oh, my Sam. goodness. Finishing it off. Love to see Homie put something down because I think – like, just this season, it has coming together for him very nicely. Yeah. With the first World Cup podium, just learning that frontside double 18 in copper, I believe. And, I mean, he's just, yeah, he's just a, a killer. Yeah, trick. That makes killer no boy. sense to me. Killer boy. Let's see what the judges give him. Once again, it's going to take some time. And, oh, one. Almost cracking into the top five position. I wow, mean, great score. This goes to show... This final is insane. insane. The level of riding is through the roof. I yeah. mean, he pretty much had a perfect run and got into sixth place. And now, this guy definitely frothing to put something down. Will he go for the crazy run that he posted last Jake week? Jake Cantor, all on the line here right we go. here. He has what it takes to get back into the top spot. Dropping in. Front blunt, same way. Perfect. Board side, board side, pretzel. Great. Perfect. Starting off really strong for Jay coming into this shark fin. Switch on the flip seven with that switch nose. I love that trick. Coming in to our first jump, Jake. What do you have for us? That switch oh. back 1260. Wow. Boom. Toe edge in the landing. Coming up into that backside 1620 with the indie grab. Oh, little does bobble, he have but it? Does he have the speed? I think he does. Oh, oh my gosh. That takeoff is fried. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, I just oh, that think was nice slash. I just think all the riders have been cooking so much that last takeoff is just oh, fried a little too much. Oh, right and Jake now. was on one too. Whew. Wow. Happy to see him safe after that scary I mean, scary moment. Honestly, that is that goes to show how good of a snowboarder Jake is. Yeah. Like last second deciding not to go for it. That takes a lot right there. Wow. A lot of finesse. And that switch back 12. Look how he dug in that so edge. Dude. Boom. Boom. The slush was just spraying oh, up right there. And that triple 16. A little bobble on the 16, which... Here we go. Oh, oh, my goodness. That is the snowboarder's worst nightmare right there. I mean, that could have been very, very bad. Nice slash, though. Thanks for that. That was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, thank you, Jake. Homie's going to stay in third place. Third place. Great position. But... There's two riders to go. Oh, my God. Both <laughs> of which are outside the top three at the moment. I can't believe it right now. It is insane. And one of those is Nick Laframbois. Nick Raz, boy. Come on. Sorry, Nick Raz, as we mentioned earlier. Nick Raz. Give the me. The raspberry, the dog, the kid, the man, the legend. Give me dropping that. Dropping in. Give me that. Come on, boy. Cap two to switch. Perfect. Money. Cab 7, money, beautiful, first jump here, oh no, are you kidding me, oh, I could my cry goodness. right now, I could literally cry, I'm, I'm speechless right now, for viewers at home, Nick Raz just caught the worst Snow snake in history. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. And I don't <sighs> think that for the viewers at home, you don't understand how frustrating that is. As a rider to come all this way, work all. And I mean, he had the potential to go up there 100%.
It was looking so solid on that top section. And then just... Yeah, dude, that is the slush. frustration for Nick as... The slush be. snakes, man. Oh my goodness. They're not friendly and... This is... I'm I'm literally speechless. I feel so sorry for Nick. I was really looking forward to that run. Yeah, he was about to show you guys a heater. I mean, run. homie has switched double rodeo. Homie has switched triple rodeo. Homie yeah. has front triple. Homie has back triple. Oh, man. He has it all. Gut punching right there. And that is very unfortunate. But you know what? As I, as, as I know Nick, he's going to be frustrated for about 30 minutes. And then hopefully he's going to get Maybe back up can. there. With a beautiful uh, smile on his yeah, big face. I, I hope so, cute man. Face. I hope to get in some laps with all the boys later today. Yeah. Definitely hope to. For sure. Nick's the man. Always happy. Always stoked. Yeah, man. And next up. Dude, let's get back into the hype. There's one more rider, and he is here to play. Our fourth? We have the fourth wow. place. Hiroto Ogiwara. And wow. I tell you this much. He has the tricks. Oh, does he bump ever? into the podium and bump into the first place and this is pressure cooker at its finest right now ladies and gentlemen this is a euro cup final but it feels like it's oh it feels it's like a world the olympics champs. right now dude honestly it is freaking crazy nose press nose you, press front 180 take away, i take it pardon me switch blunt 270 oh. locking in and super stylish so on that nice. whip around Oh my goodness, <laughs> switch back 12 like it is nothing. It's so beautiful. It is crazy to see that he's able to put that down into the front side. 14, putting it down. This is it. Come on, Hiroto. He on. With the hood up, Gangster. Backside 16, 20 in his sleep. With Perfect. the hood. Perfect. Wow. Will we see something crazy here? Oh, Gang 16, oh, and he puts it down. Hiroto coming wow. to play. He says, I want a piece of oh. that cake. I'm taking home the whole cake. One more rail to go. Go for the mustache oh. rail. Short slide through the mustache rail. Oh, my God. Hiroto. <laughs> You're playing with our nerves right <laughs> now. Hiroto. This is crazy. <laughs> Hiroto. Back what is back happening? On the most charred course we could possibly have given him. I mean, this is fried right now. The course is literally That is our black. best jump line of the day. Dude, front double four. Including that shark fin. What the heck? But Back in the 16. end. And look how perfect he stomped it as well. And the cap 16. All right, chat. We need to ask oh. you a question. Do the judges reward him for hitting this last rail, or do they dock him for falling off early? That's the question. I really, really want to hear it. I want to know because I am. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It I is am in shock. It is like it is hard to talk right now. Honestly, we <laughs> we just witnessed. We are speechless. The hardest, most gnarly Euro Cup final and ever. I mean, I mean, I all know, of you but... guys at home that were part of it. Just remember, this was the heaviest, the packed, most packed. Euro Cup final, and you got to be a part of it. You guys got to watch. I mean, it was a show for sure. So and thank now, you for being here with us. Hiroto. Coming in. In oh! the first place! A 94! What? 6-0. Oh, wow. my goodness. They, they're down with the last... They're down with the last rail. I mean, that run was impeccable Bro. from the start to the, almost the finish. Hiroto, congratulations. Dude. A Euro Cup champ. I mean... Wow. I don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the final Japan. standings. Japan killing it in both divisions. Women and men taking home first and second place. Oivin Kirkus taking home third place. Jake getting bumped out of the podium position. Ladies and gents. Wow. This the was incredible run from everyone. The like, pressure cooker was on. And this is the gnarliest event I've got to... Uh, Dude, that was watching a while. I mean, I guess the World Cup was pretty nice. Sorry for the words that I'm using right now, but that was just fucked. <laughs> that was actually fucked. Bleep man. it out. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, man. Holy smokers. And the best part is yet to come. I really do hope that a lot of people show up to the prize giving. But for now, to all the viewers at home, to you, Truth, thank you thank so you, much sir. for being a part of this. Thank this you, was guys. the most incredible snowboard final. And don't. 
be sad because we have more action to come in the big air happening this weekend. Be sure to tune in. Boom. We're going to be back at the same place, maybe even with Truth Smith in the booth. We shall see. Hell Thank yeah. you for having me, JJ. Thank you so much. And I wish y'all a blast day and happy spring days to come. Love y'all. Keep shredding. Keep having a good time. We out. Ciao. Grosse Traum braucht ein bisschen Support. Es braucht gute Serviceleute, Vorbilder und einen Fanclub. Aber es braucht auch kein Rezept. Und die Tüpfelscheisser, um die entscheidenden Hundertstel rauszufahren. Manchmal braucht es Überredungskünstlerinnen. Leute, die mit einer guten Einstellung an die Sache gehen und die Sättigung, die einen motivieren. Damit es läuft, läuft und läuft, braucht es eine gute Verbindung untereinander. Ein Technologiepartner, der alles gibt fürs Team. Und jemand, der dir sagt, go, go, go.